This guy needs a duffel bag tie. This guy needs a duffel bag tie. This guy needs a duffel bag tie.
I had water in my mouth when when the song was ending, and then I was like, "Oh shit! I've I've got to unmute. I've got to talk." And I was in such a rush that I like started coughing, and now my voice sounds kind of weird. <laughs> Hi, how's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope today's been good to you. It is. It's Thursday, right? It's Thursday? I think it's Thursday? I'm pretty sure it's Thursday today. It's Thursday, right? It's Thursday. It's Thursday. September 2nd, 2021. <clears throat> Four months left in the year, huh? Wild. Uh, I know it's not technically the start of fall until, like, uh, closer to my birthday. Uh, but in my brain, uh, autumn starts September 1st, so, uh, today I started, uh, or I guess today I, words, uh, today's the first day, uh, of the, 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 the autumn stream playlist, the pre-stream playlist that I made for autumn, so, I hope you like uh, some different songs in the rotation for the next three or so months. Uh, I got some songs on there that are some of my favorites because uh, I think autumn is maybe my favorite uh, time of year, aside from winter, because I, I love snow. Uh, but, you know, there's, there's, there's something to be said for the emotions of autumn, you know? Thank you, Soul and Moon, for that gift sub. Uh... So yeah, I'm a big fan of the, like, September uh, run-up to November uh, months sort of thing. It's a good times to me. Thank you, Reepy Bopeepy, for the $3 tip. So excited to see my <clears> wonderful <throat> grandfather this people Thursday. That's true, that's what we're doing. We're playing Psychonauts today. It's Psychonauts Thursday. If, if you say Thursday with, like, a, a bit of a weird accent... Frankly, I think you will be astounded by the amount of people. He is so here, in this game. Awesome. Thank you, Butler Kitty, for the tip. I appreciate it. Very well-timed uh, tips. All in a row about Grandpa. Uh, we're playing Psychonauts 2 today. I've been uh, real excited, raring to go, to play some more of it. Uh, today, did I find the duffel bag tag? The... The what? I don't know what that is, sorry. Thank you for the gift subs. Uh, so I'm looking forward to doing more of that. Uh, we gotta find Ford. We gotta do other stuff. Uh, we gotta save Lily's dad. We gotta save the world. Uh, we gotta do a scavenger hunt. And collect all kinds of things. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, if you're liking the streams and you're looking for ways to support what we do here, there's a, you got plenty of options for that. Oldman Funny Picks Apre King. Thank you, The Flesh Must Grow, for the bits. I appreciate it. You know, you got subs, you got bits, that sort of stuff. But if you want to go the financial route, the best way to support me uh, is going to be to, to tip directly. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a link to the bottom of the stream to, for doing that through Streamlabs and PayPal. Uh, that's money that goes, you know, directly to my wallet. Uh, and so... Any and all financial support, you know, very greatly appreciated. Uh, never mandatory. You don't have to. Don't feel obligated to. Uh, never feel pressure to or anything like that. Thank you, Pixel Android, for the tip. So ready for watching you cycle through so many knots. Well, I'm so ready to play it, so that makes two of us, I suppose. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, so, you know, don't ever feel like you have to. No obligation to. Uh, nothing like that. Uh, it's available if you want to. Uh, but, you know, uh, if you enjoy the streams, if you like what we do here, uh, if they've, you know, brought any modicum of joy, uh, to your life, and you've got, uh, the change to spare, and you want to toss some my way, well, that's mighty appreciated. Uh, because of your very generous support, uh, this is, uh, my main source of income right now, uh, and thanks to viewers like you, I'm able to do this... As often as I do, uh, while also being able to like, pay bills and eat food and save up to move and all that stuff. Watching Psychonauts for the first time has been an utter blessing, Ty, for your streams. Hey, hell yeah. Glad you're enjoying it. Thank you. For the tip. I appreciate that, Charlie Earl. 
Uh, thank you, Young Nanner, for the $10 tip. I wanted to toss you a dono cause it's my cat's birthday <gasps> and she likes your streams. Oh, it's people time. There's a birthday cat watching my streams. Oh. Thank you, Butler Kitty, for the bits this I appreciated. This is game. So much of him, this game. In it. He's. He's. In. People in the game. Thank you, Butler Kitty, for the bits I appreciate it. Uh, I just looked over at the feed and saw a whole lot of tips coming in, so. <laughs> you mean like this? Thank you, Storm Vision, for the tip. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Big Paws, for the tip. Like so. There were a couple that came in that were just. Ah, here's a demonstration of how it works. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you for this tutorial. And thank you, Twilight Prince, for the $15 Jumps tip. Jumps into your brain. Uses mental connection to trans your gender. All in a day's work for a psychonaut. Oh no, I don't think you needed to do that. I think that that's already done and sorted, but I appreciate the thought. <laughs> thank you, Tenebris Forge. Here is money. A fun with funny psycho circus man fighting funny sensor man. Also, yay, Richard Stephen Horvitz is still a great voice actor. Hell yeah, he is. Thank you for the tip, I appreciate it. Thank you, Happy Frog Legs, for the bits. Make that three. It's my two kitties' birthday as well, they are a year old. What the fuck? Why are there so many kitty birthdays happening today? Why are there so many kitty birthdays happening today? What is. What's special about today? <laughs> Thank you, Twazik. For the four month reset. I, I was late looking forward to this. Uh, other ways you can you. support the stream that don't involve your money. You know, you can uh, share uh, tweets about the streams going live, get the word out that way. Uh, you can, you know, tell friends. Is this a tip? You can tell friends about. No, that, that's, a, that's, that's a subscription. That's a resub. Thank you, Pingu of Not Alive, for the 11 month resub. I appreciate it. And thank you, Bramble Light Garden, for the tip. Meteorological autumn starts September 1st. I knew I was vindicated in some technicality. I knew I was vindicated in some complete technicality. <laughs> thank you for the tip as well. I appreciate that. And thank you, Robot Canadia, for the gift subs. Uh, so, you know, you can share tweets about the stream. You can tell a friend about the stream. Uh, if there's any moments from the stream that you like and want to clip, you can take those and share those around. Thank you, Ahoy there. I just beat this game today. It had lots of good people content. Oh, that's exciting. I'm always, I'm always excited for old men. I think old men are fun. <laughs> thank you. And thank you, it's Bunkus, for the tip. Probably already said something along these lines, but I'm really glad this community is just generally welcoming. Is nice for me, especially back when I was figuring out I was bigender. Hey, hell yeah! I... I try, uh... Very hard, uh... To, to try and curate a space that's, like, welcoming to as many folks as possible, and, you know... I try not to be prideful about you know, stuff like that, because it's, 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 it's work that you always need to do. You can't just, like, rest on your laurels and stop, but... I mean, I suppose I've done an okay job of it so far. So hell yeah. Thank you for the kind words. And congrats, you know, on figuring some stuff about yourself out. Uh, that's always uh, sort of a lifelong journey, but it always does feel good whenever you, you feel like you got one little feather you can put in your cap, you know? And thank you for the tip. I appreciate that. Oh, uh, what else was I saying? Uh... <laughs> Holly X with the tip. <laughs> Tyler! What are you doing in brain, idiot? <laughs> brain gang! <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Hang on. I think I forgot to give you a gemstone. I think I forgot to give you a crystal. Uh, now you have an awesome goodie. Anyways, what was I saying? Um... Uh, so yeah, you know, that, that's, that's ways you can, you can help out the streams and what we do here without, uh, without needing to, to, to throw money at me, because there's plenty of ways you can support what we do here. And you know, another way you can do that, if you've got the time and you're interested in what we're doing here, I reckon, you know, tuning in, having a nice time here, that counts as support in its own way, so thank y'all so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend it here with us. Uh, you can join the Discord if you want. There's some nice folks there. Nice little community. Uh, exclamation point Discord if you want the information about that. 
Uh, if you have fan art that you want to make for the streams, uh, you can either post it in the fan art channel of the Discord, uh, or you can post it on Twitter and just at me, and I'll give it a look there. Uh, preferably at me instead of tagging me, uh, just because, like, uh, Twitter notifications are weird, and I try and filter by, like, mentions so that I can find art, and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, like, count, like, a who's in this post tag as a mention for whatever fucking reason, because the website is good. Uh, the website is awesome. Uh, did I have anything else I wanted to say? Uh, my cat today followed me into the bathroom and uh, was purring so loud uh, and was generally being a nuisance. And it was very cute. <laughs> Let's play some Psychonauts. Thank you, Red Skull, for that Prime sub. I appreciate it. We are going to start the game now. You'll give me just a sec to tab on over to Steam. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny, how the, <laughs> the Smash Bros. success sound Psychonauts played as soon as I just went, My cat went to the bathroom with me today. <laughs> Also, thank you, Frosty, as for the 15 month resub. I appreciate that. Psychonauts. Uh, I'm waiting for Steam to tell me I can boot up the game. It's, it's a little bit frozen right now. Now? Can I? Please? It's, it's a black screen, so I'm waiting so patiently. Oh, here we go. Anytime a game takes more than like four seconds to load, I'm worried that I did something wrong and broke it. <laughs> I am always going to be like this, I think. This is my curse. Apologies if there's any slight background noise today. Uh, I've got my window open because the temperature is like really, really goddamn nice here, actually. Uh, and so I got the fan running to help uh, bring the cool air in. It's nice. I don't think it's coming through the mic, though, so that's good. I'm pressing any button. I'm not going to make the any button joke this time around. I already made it. Also, man, yeah, Double Fine's been around for 20 plus years now, haven't they? That's wild to think about. It's gonna be 24 all week for you? Oh, man. It is like uh, a solid 21, 22 right now, and it is gonna be much cooler at night, so, like, I am pretty happy, <laughs> to say the least. Let's resume game. God, yeah, Char, it has also been, like, uh, fucking weeks of 30 plus up to 40 with the humidity here. Miserable. It's gonna get hot again soon, so I'm a little sad about that, but <laughs> I'm enjoying, I am enjoying weather where I can have the windows open while I can. Previously, a lot happened. Uh, the entire opening of the game happened. Here we are, in the HQ. And now, that's the wrong button. Uh, now we have to find some bacon to summon Ford Crawler. Somehow my bacon from Whistering, wi Whistering? Whispering, I can't speak English. From Whispering Rock was lost in the Rhombus of Ruin. I need to get a new piece to summon Ford Crawler. They probably have bacon in the cafe. I mean, hopefully the bacon guys come and restocked it by now, right? Who took Raz's bacon? Probably a fish. Let's be honest, probably a fish. Also, I just realized the joke of noodle bowl is because, you know, noodle is sometimes used as slang for your brain. I only just now got the joke of noodle. Uh, I was just like, oh, I guess they just really like eating, like, noodle dishes here. 
how old was that bacon? I mean, th this game Got takes place, like, a couple days after Psychonauts 1, so, like, at most, a couple days old. I guess that is still pretty bad. I do happen to have a top secret mission I need help with. Listen. We'll never know, it's top secret. Alright. Special today. Honey pepper boar bacon. Hey, did the bacon delivery come in yet? Yep, and I'm already sold out. Sorry. <laughs> what? You don't have one piece of bacon? Well, just the one I was saving for my ferrets. That is like a ferret. Okay, you can have it. It fell on the floor anyway. I don't mind. <laughs> okay, I'm closing up shop. Enjoy your dirty bacon, kid. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. I'm not sure if you're still a psychic stowaway inside my head, Ford. But if you are... Ooh, is that honey pepper boar bacon? Oh, I haven't had that since my days back at headquarters. Rasputin, what are you doing back here? I, I, I'm not supposed to be here. Oh, but I do miss the old honey pepper. We need you here, Agent Crawler. Grand Ed Zanotto asked for you himself. Hmm. What's that? Uh, oh, you found Truman. Oh, good, 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 good job. There, <laughs> He's gonna yes. take a bite. And he says you're the only one who can help us fight Maligula. Ma Maligula? Yes, someone's trying to bring her back to life. And there's a mole in the Psychonauts, and we have a ton of work to do. Yes, the work to do. Shoes to clean, hair to cut, mail to sort. Now, if you don't mind, Agent Crawler, I'm just gonna take a quick peek under the hood to see what we're dealing with here. Oh, sure, kid. Knock yourself out. Oh, damn, right away into this level, okay. I didn't realize we were going, like, right away. Damn, okay. Interesting. The campfire at Whispering Rock. I haven't been here for... Days. <laughs> I do like the implication that um, it wasn't just like a psychic projection coming out. Mind. Oh, right, this. Three pound pile of dreams. The rest of you will die. Yada yada yada. I don't have time for speeches. I'm on a mission. I was wondering if the that would happen. Mind. Three pound <laughs> pile of dreams. The rest of you will die. Yada yada yada. I don't have time for speeches. I do like I'm the implication that like instead of a psychic projection, it was like no. Uh, Ford Crawler was literally physically teleporting, uh, through your brain. Physically. Uh, to sniff of your bacon. I do like that they reference the whole, you can stand on the stump and talk, uh, at the camp. Uh, I can't go this way. This is a cool little HD recreation of a uh, campfire area. It's all gated off, obviously, but still. I think I need to grab this. Aha! Here's the top to that stump and a little torch. Hey, remember how uh, one of the, the stumps at the campfire in Psychonauts 1 had like the top ripped off and all the other ones were perfectly fine? And they represented uh, the, the founding members of the Psychonauts. Remember how the only one that had the top ripped off was the one for Kreller? I'm sure it's fine. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. So it was Ford Kreller in his prime. That's more like it. Otto Mentalis. Well, he looks basically the same. He kind of does, doesn't he? Ah, uh, poor Helmet Fullbear. 
I guess I'll never get to see his famous psychotic. Uh, poor Helmet Fullbear. Oh, there's multiple lines. Okay, so maybe I guess I'll never here. get to see his famous psychotic. Otto Mentalis. Oh, no, never mind. It is just well, the one. I see. He looks basically the same. Here's Lily's great uncle, Bob. Man, that beard must have taken forever to carve. Oh, like the like the wood sculpture in front of us right here. I thought Raz was convinced that like real life beards are a thing you have to carve with like a chisel and hammer, not like a you know, like shaving. <laughs> I was I was a little puzzled. <laughs> Compton Bull, grandfather of my friend Dogen. Dogen is a friend. I if he's any better with animals. Dogen is a friend. I hope. Oh, okay. That's hmm. right. There were seven stumps at camp. Oh yeah, there were, weren't there? I don't remember who was in the last one, though. I have some questions about her book. I hope I get to meet Cassiopeia someday. I have some questions about her book. All right, well, let's light one, let's light one more thing on fire. Lucretia Mux. Huh. Wonder why she's not included in the Psychic Six. I mean, I guess because that would make it the Psychic Seven. But still, she must have been important, or Ford wouldn't have carved her. Oh. Hold. Ah, the camera really wants us to look forward here. Jump onto a boat to board. Man, this is really pretty. There's a note to Ford in here. Looks like it's from Otto Mentalis. Crawler. I think it's time we add a third psychic to our research team. Her name is Lucretia Mux. She's hoping to get out of Grulovia, where her husband was just killed in the war. I know you have concerns about hydraulic mining, Ford. But with Lucretia's powerful hydrokinesis, we could wash the Cytanium out of these caves in no time. I feel like the two of us have been digging forever. But with Lucy's help, I feel like I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, that's fun, the moon getting smaller and closer like that. This is worse than I thought. Well, I seem to remember the inside of your mind wasn't so neat and tidy either. Agent Cruller, I'm here to help. I want to unshatter your mind. Ah, don't bother. I've tried for years. Whoever dropped the kabrui on this mine really didn't want to put back together again. And to tell you the truth, there were some parts of this old brain that weren't doing me much good anyway. Who needs to think about the past all the time, eh? Some memories are best left alone. Now let's get out of here before that bacon gets cold. But Ford! <laughs> now I'm not saying it will be easy, but let's just go see Truman, and I'm sure he'll... Agent Crawler? Ford? Oh man. I need to find him before I report back to Truman. What was that work he said he had to do? Something about mail? And hair? And shoes? Ford's busy. He's got work to do. Let's go find him. Yep. Find three aspects of Ford. The barber, the bowling, and the mail clerk. 
Ford mentioned cutting hair. Maybe one aspect is in the barbershop in the atrium. It is called Ford's, after all. I'm it's time to find to all of our peepaws. Uh, a new guy in this one. I give him a shot, but... Well, it'll grow back. Eventually. I don't know how good he is at cutting hair, so that's... Uh... Right, booked up all day. I can wait. You sure a shampoo can, but unless I get a cancellation, you're out of luck. That's one Agent Cruller located. Need to find the other two before I regroup with Agents in Autumn. Ford's voice uh, sounds different sure in this game, uh, and I'm sure some of it is of just friends. like. Can't. It's Senior League hours. What? Ha! We haven't had a senior league in years. Well, it's back. And I'm sure part of it is just because, like you know, it's been however many oh. years uh, since they last did the role. Uh, but I feel like part of it is also just like the higher fidelity of the audio now that it's like yep. so many years later and not a game for the PS2. So like, I like the new voice personally. It's not that different, but it's a little bit to be like, oh yeah, right, this game was made like years after the first one. It's cool that they got back, like, all the original uh, voice actors as well. Astral Lane's reserved for Senior League. Bar open late. <laughs> Fun. Agent Cruller. Rez also sounds different, yeah. Sorry, Senior League hours. Only members of the Senior League allowed. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's much left of the Senior League, except for Compton Bull? No kidding. Huh. Oh. Under office number, it just says Psycho Isolation. Why would his office be in Psycho Isolation? Guess I need to get out there to find out. Two forts down. Only one more to find before I can go back to Truman. Remember? Also, yeah, Rass is very good at reading scribbles. Uh. And also, like, most of the voices, if you listen to them from the first one, like, they definitely sound different, but, like, they're all very close, so, like, I'm into it. Uh, also, remember how, uh, Dogen, you know, was having issues with, uh, the squirrels bugging him and how that was, like, bothering him all the time? Scanning. Oh, guy in the mirror. Granted. That's for They were talking. They were gossiping about four. There's so much little dialogues happening, and I want to hear it all. Is the game a tad loud for anyone, or is that just your issue? I mean, it's literally the same settings as it was last time, and everyone last time said it was perfectly fine. So. By the way, you can't go in here, it hurts you, so don't go in there, or it'll hurt you. Agent Cruller, it's me, Raz. Permission to enter? Negative. Senior staff only. Ford, it's me! And who are you? <sighs> don't you realize who I am? Wait. If Nick John Smith is mentoring interns, he must be senior staff, right? I'm telling my dad. I should talk to him. Special delivery. Let's ask oh, Nick for no. help. Mr. John Smith. Hang on, Nick. I'll get you out of there. Somehow. Hang on, Nick. I'll get you out of there. Somehow. Hey, man. There you go, Nick. Now stay away from these machines. Hey, Nick. You're senior staff, right? Pony? Can you help me get into the back room? I need to talk to Agent Crawler. Flat rate. Look, Nick, I have a wild idea. Bear with me. Bear? If I get you a Bear. loner brain of equal or greater value to your own, then you help me get into the back room. Plus, I'll bet the loner brain will keep you safe from all this machinery. First class. I'm going to take that as a yes. Now, where can I find a brain? 
that's the final ford. Time to debrief Truman. I think I'm gonna need his help. I love that they just got Elijah Wood to voice this guy, honestly. It kind of rules. No. Package. The only voice acting you've heard of Elijah Wood is in Sp Elijah Wood was in Spyro? What? Elijah Wood did a Spyro game? Elijah Wood was Spyro? I didn't know that. Huh. I had no idea. So, there is one good thing about Maligula coming back. Is there? What? They'll definitely be approving more overtime. Hello. <laughs> Jesus. A deluge of cash. Now that's a blood I can live with. That seems like something that someone would say at, like, an office about a disaster that's impending. That feels true to life, unfortunately. One of the last attempts to make Spyro cool again, they went for a big epic theme and had Elijah Wood voice him. Huh. Interesting. I didn't know that. That's mostly just because I know nothing about Spyro the Dragon, then, so... Thank you, Taffin, for the three months reset. Scanning access granted. Only it. I drank a water. You think he was also in Happy Feet? What was he? I I literally don't remember anything about Happy Feet, so <laughs> I couldn't say. That doesn't sound wrong, though. Oh, right, I could have taken the fast travel here, couldn't I? I keep forgetting there's the autobahn. Truman! Nap time! It's okay. We're alone. Where's Crawler? I got him to the base, but now he's locked in the bowling alley. And also the mailroom. And the hair salon. Hmm, sounds like he's reverting to some old behavior. He's no good to us like that. I think I could help him, if I could just get closer to him. But to get closer, I need to do some stuff outside the base. Hmm. Put your head near this brain. Uh, thing. <laughs> I should be able to... There! Full access. That should let you search the whole place, inside and out. Okay. I'll try to get Ford and bring him back here. No, Raz. You're going to find Ford Crawler, and you're going to fix him. You're going to make Ford Crawler whole again. This is just another mind in torment, Raz. It needs a psychonaut to fix it. And I believe in you, Raz. I know, you're ready for this. Yes, sir, Agent Zanato. I won't let you down. I'll put Ford back together again. Godspeed, Psychonaut. Ford is in pieces and Truman needs you to put him back together. Each aspect of Ford presents its own challenge that can be tackled in any order. Checking manual for details, many areas that were previously off-limits are now accessible with Truman's security clearance. Explore! Yeah, it is uh, maybe a little bit worrying, like, right after uh, we had that whole talk with Hollis about how, like, you know, it's not our job to fix people. Uh, it's our job to help people, not to, like, fix them like they're, like, things. Scanning for thinkerprint. Also, can we get in? Full access granted. Yes, 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 yes. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Grand Head Sonato. We get an upgrade now. Yep. So, like, I wonder Car. if that's just, like, uh, yep. maybe a bit of, like, weird, uh, uh, sort of. Uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Like like writing that doesn't necessarily match up, or if that is supposed to have us being like, oh, huh, interesting. Hmm.
Yeah, like, it, it does feel like it's intentional, so it's like... Hmm, I'm thinking, I'm stroking Last my chin. Delgado, please report to the front desk. You have a visitor? Oh, what? okay. Visitors waiting for you in the reception area. Oh, Someone I... is here to see me? I think I know where this is going. I think I know where this is going. Rasputin Aquato, please come down to the reception area immediately. Your visitors are creating a disturbance. <laughs> oh, no. It couldn't be. Oh, man. How do we get to... Uh... How do we get back to uh, the lobby, or rather the, the the entrance? The big central platform. Okay. Scanning for thinker print. Access granted. Down we go. <laughs> That's what I figured. <laughs> Rasputin, my boy. Tell me, son. Did you show them? Did you show them all? Uh, well, yeah, we rescued Truman from the kidnappers, so... I guess? That's my boy. So I suppose that means you're running this whole place now. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing here? What? Well, we're here to support you, son. Oh. We? Of course. You really opened my eyes about the whole psychic thing, son. I'd been acting like a fool. I know that now. But your mother, I knew she'd need more convincing. She's not, after all, like us, psychics, I mean. <laughs> you don't have to whisper that here. So I thought if she saw where you were working and met all your new friends... My mom's here. Son, the whole family is here! Fuck yes, fuck yes. Oh no. We get to meet all of the amazing flying aquatos! Oh no, she's calling him fart. Oh. Have you been practicing your acrobatics? Uh. 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 He's definitely let his muscle tone suffer. Hey, hey, hey! I know that voice. I think he's put on a little weight. Grandma knows what's up. Just what is going on out here? Rasputin, stop goofing around and explain yourself. Who are these people? We are the Aquatos. Traveling thrill givers and practitioners of the acrobatic arts. Great. Well, this is a highly restricted area. The campgrounds are over the hill. Now, if you wouldn't mind hauling that wreck off our landing pad. What? Hey, you be Did nice, you that say? thing's beautiful. If it's too much trouble to haul it, I could always burn it for you. Please, excuse us. We are Rasputin's family. We've come here to support him, not get in the way. We'll move our caravan to the campgrounds. Ah, uh, I want to play in the jet. Maybe your brother <laughs> can give us a tour later. Thank you. 
whenever he's ready, <laughs> he knows where to find us. Bye, Pooter. <laughs> that was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <sighs> New optional mission. Meet my family in the questionable area. I keep pressing the pause instead of the, the menu button. We definitely gotta go visit them. We definitely gotta go visit them. I can't believe my family followed me here. I should find them at the campsite Hollis mentioned, somewhere in the... Questionable area. That's good. <laughs> also, I do really like, uh... Like Hollis just being like, how the hell did you get here? Oh, we're the amazing quiet flying Aquatos! That's nice. This is a top secret government facility. How the fuck did you get here? <laughs> It's good. Also, we've got this whole outside area we can explore now. Thank you, Catboy Milkman. For the 11 month visa. Oh no, they're gonna start thinking that each other is the mole now. Right, you both just see me as the mole, don't you? Except you don't! Hmmm. Thank you, Pupidon, for that sub. Mother Love has the security budget of two strings and a paper- Yeah! They- <laughs> They do seem to be having some budgetary issues, don't they? Hey there. Oh, wait. I changed my mind. This kid's the mole. No doubt about it. Ah. Who says agents don't have any sense of humor? We do. Now, do you both see me as the mole? No, you don't. Okay. That would have been a fun little quick thing to do. I mean, Raz is tan and did find break into the government camp for psychics. Yeah, but that's like summer camp. That's that's slightly different. This is, this is an entire secret base. <laughs> the other one is essentially just summer camp that happens to host wizards. Oh, right, the water. Uh, I forgot about the water. Maybe let's not fall into the water then. Ooh, fancy. Oh. This place is pretty. I think I remember, like, ages and ages ago seeing, like, some brief footage of this area in like uh like in development when they were talking about the making of this game and that's that's cool that's unlocking some brain memories that i forgot i had thank you for the card oh right that's not high jump anymore that's not high jump anymore it's long jump Change how the swinging works? Yes, they did. I need to practice that. I need to practice my swing. Whoop. Oh, now you can just like do it right away. Okay. You just have to hold and jump. That's cool. I like that. Kind of got rid of the craft of it. That's, that's some streamline some streamlining I'm into. Abandoned mine. Well, if you abandoned yours, I might as well take it. I wonder if this is the questionable area. I, I did like the giant no sign, yeah, just- No! Man, they've given me this entire new overworld to, like, explore, and I've completely already forgotten my quest and side quests. I'm just jumping around now. Oh, you can do a backwards jump, too! Got a side card. That's fun. And this probably flings you all the way back there if you want to go back there. I don't want to go back there yet, though. 
Last cap, Becky Cave. Oh. Eh. That's a sand. I wanna go play in the abandoned cave! Whoa! Doesn't look like a death trap to me. Yet. Yet. Cool mushrooms. Very pretty in here. Uh, even if it does sound a little ominous right now. Yep. Oh, this thing moved when I got near it. That's scary. I don't know if mushrooms are supposed to do that. Okay. I can't quite jimmy my way up here, Psychonauts 1 style. There's a crate here. I can lift up the crate. Particularly from the looks of it. I do it anyways. Yeah, if these were the mushrooms that Hollis was thinking about foraging for, maybe she ought to reconsider. Uh, that said, they do look a little bit yummy, even if they are maybe highly toxic. Again. I came out here looking for something. What was it? Oh, right, a brain for Nick, so I can get in to see Ford and to keep Nick from getting his head caught in the stamper again. Wait, is there a brain here? I was just exploring. I was just exploring for fun. I was just here for fun, Raz. Mine is really dangerous for skeletons. <laughs> cool machine. I'm really enjoying the device. Yep. There's a small crack here. Can I jimmy my way through that? Looks like no. Hmm. Maybe just a curiosity for now then. Moss, right? This is just moss. You cannot climb up moss. Uh, but can I? No, I can't ledge grab, ledge grab there either. I was really hoping I could. Really wanted to. There's that yummy card up there. I don't think I can. Wait, wait. Wait. I have three points. You can now hold X to compress your lev ball, then release it to bounce high in the air. Use it to reach previously unreachable heights. <laughs> I do like the, the the mod jokes in the chat of folks trying to come up with Rez's Twitch name. <laughs> I just wanted to mention explicitly, I thought it was cute. Also thank you, Meanwhile Mixtape for the 10 month reason. There we go! That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff you do like to see. Oh, and... There's no way I can make it to there, though. Not right now, at least. Oh, this is fun. Oh, big jump. Oh, huge jump. <laughs> Sasha 9, Mia Vodello, number one fan, 245! God, that 
does seem like an extremely kid username, doesn't it? Rail grind. Can't leave this card lying around. Mine now, mine now. Wait, hang on a second. I just noticed this here. So, I... I didn't need the upgrade, I guess. Well. <laughs> Good to know for the future, I suppose. Which there's a whole bunch of goodies like out here that I'm not noticing. Uh, involving uh, this. Oh, that's how you're supposed to get here. I just like I just jumped it. I just jumped the gap. Wait, how do we get there? We go. I, I I just jumped there. <laughs> I saw that bush on the way back and I was like, hmm, I wonder what this is doing here. I wonder how this could help me. And then I just realized, no, it's, it's back the way you came, but like the, the quote unquote intended way. I never did go this way. But this is probably also just, you know, the intended way, as opposed to the clown shit I did with wall jumps. Yeah, this really is just... okay. Hmm. Fun. I think that's honestly uh, one of the hallmarks of a good platformer is like, you know, there's the quote-unquote intended way, but like, they give you enough fun tools and like good level design that you can get there like any number of ways. That's platforming, baby! On. Wait, I saw something. Uh, let me... If I could just. If you would allow me just a moment of your time, uh, I'd really appreciate it if I could. Uh... So there's that bit over there. Can I get enough of a perch on like, literally any of these? Oh wait, I could just I could just wall jump up here, right? This is is this wall jumpable? Uh, I'm getting the feeling I'm not supposed to do that based on how the camera's not playing nice, uh, so. Perhaps another time, or perhaps another way. Hmm. Or maybe I just spend the rest of the stream, stream seeing if I can go up there. <laughs> hmm. Oh well. Oh, card. God, I love the very sudden change of music going to here. Side card, I can make a side challenge marker back at the automatic. Oh yeah, by the way, the entire game isn't as like haunted and scary as uh, that one cave you were just in. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Where does this go? Into the drink. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Oh no! Looks like there's like, just nothing down there, except for up there. Okay. I was on a fool's errand this whole time. I was on a wild fool's chase! So let's go back up. 
back up here. Now. Uh, bounce. Now that I've learned the trick of bounce. Uh, wrong button. I wanted uh, clear buttons. Hi! You got something to show me? You have something to show me? Oh. Thank you! Thank you, casual bail off for the reset. Damn, 12 months. Thank you very much. Here we go! I'm very glad I picked up this big bounce ability now. God, this rules. It feels very... Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, he just did like, a funny face when I was like sliding down here. I don't know how I got him to do that. I probably can't like, repro that. The, like, the super jump feels uh, extremely reminiscent of like... Mario 2 crouch jump, and I'm into that. You had not figured out the bush and got over here with a busted jump instead. Oh no. Oh no, Frankie. <laughs> Thank you, big challenges, Dan, for the tip. Now that you've left the cave, I just wanted to say the amount of time you spent avoiding the critical part and cheating suggesting the secrets is quite frankly commendable. Listen, I have collectathon brain. I see a little thing in the distance and I have to think to myself. Now, is that just like a neat little bit of background? Or is there a Psy card in there? <laughs> I have played so many 3D platformers. I know how they do things. <laughs> I gotta be wary. Can I burn these trees? No. Okay, so that's probably not where I'm meant to go. Oh, I'm meant to go up here. To, to the dynamite. I see. I don't hear any ticking. Unexploded bomb! Last cat Becky got even- I can probably read that from the, the- the- the scavenger hunt. So far we've got, uh, from Agent Fourth Slice, Mission Critical Asset Request Form, Day Old Sushi! Not fit for human consumption. And, Unexploded Bomb! Last cat Becky got even with this mining company that cheated her by leaving booby traps throughout the mines. So please stay out of the tunnels on the edge of the quarry. But if one of her bombs happens to fall out of a mine while you're walking by, carefully bring it back here for disposal. <laughs> carefully. Carefully and safely. Do not carry around an unexploded bomb for long periods of time, especially when you have pyrokinetic powers. Just don't do it. Especially when you've just created a giant bonfire here. Simply don't do it. This is probably the cave that... No, this is something different. Huh. I thought that would lead back to the upper bit of that other cave. And we got goading screen. <coughs> different cave? Oh, bit of stutter while it's loading this area. Where are we? Oh, the questionable area! We found it! We found it! I'm feeling very questionable here today. Yep! Oh, I could probably just, like, big jump to that. Let me... Nope, slightly too short. Let me off. Thank you. Unless. There we go. Now we're talking. Oh, baby, that's a chest key. Oh, you can cling on these. <laughs> okay. That's another way to get there, I suppose. Thank you, the shitpost calligrapher, for the raid. Hope you had yourself a wonderful stream today. I'm playing some Psychonauts, too. Uh, this is my first time playing through it. I just accidentally figured out uh, how to jump up there without climbing like they want you to. Uh, so that was fun. <laughs> Hello to all fans of writing. And putting things on papers. And putting things on stuff that isn't paper. You 
can write on anything you want, really. I can't stop you. I'm not your boss. What's yeah. over here? The questionable area? Where the only answer is more questions? <laughs> You do calligraphy in Hades streams? Oh. Hell yeah. Both of those sound killer. What's down here? I'm fully just exploring the bottom of this cave now instead of going forward. <laughs> Looks like nothing at the moment, so let's keep it going. I want to jumping ball my way out. Whee! Looks like the Aquato family circus has traveled through here all right. Yep, we had to hightail it out into the woods because you're ashamed of being an Aquato. I'll stop being ashamed of that. If you stop being ashamed of being a psychic. <laughs> oh, you're asking for it, Raspy. Frazy, it's okay. You can tell Dad now. You don't have to hide anymore. <sighs> this is your last warning. Frazy? Oh, jeez. Ow! Ow! More where that came from! Sounds like it was more than just Raz, uh, who was dealing with issues of, uh, you know, the parents of the, the family taking issue with psychics. Which I guess makes sense now that I think about it. Uh, given how there seems to be a lot of trends in families uh, in this in these games, like being families of psychics rather than just like oh every now and then one of us is psychic. Also, yeah, siblings are just like that as well. That's just how siblings can be. You're leaving the questionable area. Check car for squirrels. Can you jump over here? Can you can't hang on. Ah, oh, invisible wall. Okay. Dang. I thought I could escape. I thought I could escape and get out of bounds. No, the game really doesn't want me to. Invisible wall? Yes, my family has chosen where to set up the Aquato Dome. Oh cute. That's where they're setting up the little circus area. Rasputin has not yet breached containment. Don't worry, it's fine. It's fine. We're all safe for now? Right? You found Bucky Fierro's questionable area. Forget everything you know about science, mathematics, and yourself. Bucky first discovered the mysterious power vortex that lies beneath this area and built the questionable area recreation center so that all may enjoy its confounding pleasures. Sorry, the what vortex? Nobody knows what causes the strange phenomena in the area. Oh, come on, you guys. It's Citanium, duh. <laughs> you found Bucky Fierro's questionable area. I don't want to know anything about a guy's questionable area, I'll be honest. That's between you and your doctor. Oh, Psycard! I will take the Psycards, though. Sam's here. I want to say hi to Sam. I like Sam. Oh, for Lancelot, thank you. Are those the acorns I asked for? Yes. No, no, they can't be, can they? No, because I asked for acorns that were crushed, didn't I? Didn't I, Fur Lancelot? I hate to yell at you, Fur Lancelot, but I... I... I am the crushed one. It crushes my heart to see you not doing your best. Understand? <laughs> now... Do I need to show you how to crush things? No, 
you sure? Okay, good boy. Now, try again. But this time, think about personal commitment and delivering excellence every day. All right? God, I love Sam. Sorry you had to see that, Raz. <laughs> Sam. Talk fast. Cakes are cooking. I have some questions about pancakes. Yes! <laughs> Start flapping, Jack. Time for pancake questions. Why didn't you just go order some pancakes at the cafeteria? Agent Oleander didn't give me any money. I assumed to test my resourcefulness. Oh, God. That's... That's that's what she has to do for uh, her, her internship. She has to make pancakes for Oleander, isn't it? <laughs> that was a whole nest! What's your recipe? Just the basics, you know, eggs, milk, flour. Found most of it here, with a couple quick substitutions. Oh no. What, what sort of substitutions, Sam? What sort of substitutions? If I told you, it would compromise the perceived flavor profile. That's Isn't true. Isn't that just straight up dirt? That's also For true. The umami. <laughs> I'm glad to see uh, that all these years later, uh, Psychonauts is still in so many ways uh, bearing the same torch as it did in the original. Like, for instance, who's the best character? Uh, who, who's the best, like, of the campers in Psychonauts 1? Easy, Dogen Bull. Okay, who's the best of the interns in Psychonauts 2? Easy, Sam. <laughs> it's bulls every time, baby. It's bulls all the way down. <laughs> Weren't all the supplies here kind of old? Look, you can't take the expiration dates too seriously. They're just the food industry protecting itself from lawsuits. I mean, yeah, and but protecting us from like food poisoning. That too. No one's getting sick from my pancakes, unless one of you jerks didn't wash their hands. Eh, better late than never. Where'd you get the milk? <laughs> from the goats? Oh. Yeah, that would have been easier. Hey, it brought us closer, Fran. Ah. Uh. You used eggs you found here? Old eggs? No. Gross. I found some fresh ones. And you know, if you use enough syrup, you can't tell chicken from snake. Eggs is eggs. Mm. <laughs> no. No, different eggs have different, uh, <laughs> tastes and textures and, you know, important chemical compositions. <laughs> can I have a pancake? You can have any that fall on the floor. Thanks. <laughs> Why is Raz so eager to get floor food in this game? <laughs> He's like a vacuum. He's like a little Roomba. <laughs> First the bacon, now the pancakes. What's next? What's next? Raz is just happy to eat anything. Raz is literally happy to put anything in his mouth. He literally, uh, listened to all of this, all the stuff about what's in the food, uh, with a horrified expression, was told, I mean, you can have one if it falls on the floor, and he was delighted. He was delighted. I saw very briefly a message from Duke, my friend Duke, that said clearly you just don't understand the thrill of floor food. Uh, and you know, he's right, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't. Where'd you learn how to make pancakes? Prison. Wait, what did I say? I meant from my mother. I'm out of pancake questions. Good, because I'm out of pancake <laughs> Thank you, Elk Turtle, for the 14 months. <laughs> What are you doing out here? Well, you know my intern mentor, Coach Morso Oleander? Uh, yeah? Well, this is the first assignment he gave me. 
Mission. Get me some pancakes so I can think. I think it's supposed to teach me something about the many layers of the mind. Maybe. I know the butter stands for lateral thinking. I got that much. God, she's the best. I love her. <laughs> Can I ask you about your family? Why? Because my last name is Ghoul, and because that's a famous family in the Psy community, and you want to network with me to further your Psy career? Go for it. Ah. I'm a friend of your brother's. Hmm. Her head looks remarkably unexploded. Must be the helmet. Has your brother Dogen really made someone's head explode? No, never. Wait, you mean someone who didn't deserve it? No. I mean, like, anybody. Look, nobody's nerfect. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> I do like, well, you know, uh, it's not like he's ever blown anyone's heads up or anything, uh. I mean, there was that one guy who had it coming, uh, but... Can everyone in the Bull family talk to animals? Most of us can talk to them, but few of us really know how to listen to the animals. You know, for instance, I can hear you rolling your eyes, Mrs. Thatcher. Come on, Mrs. Thatcher, that's rude. What can you tell me about Compton? Mm, Gramps is nice and all, but honestly, he's a little weird. No, still too tough. Awesome. Okay, I'll stop <laughs> asking about your family. The bull's got nothing to hide. Unlike some of these squirrels. Relax, I'm talking about your nuts. You guys still hide nuts, right? <laughs> you guys learn to laugh a little, okay? You'll live longer. <laughs> Psychonauts, still enjoying the nuts jokes all these years later. Me too, honestly. <laughs> so, have you always wanted to be a psychonaut too? Uh, not really. My true dream is to be a pet therapist. Oh. Because I'm really good with animals. Right, guys? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, her heart's in the right place. I'll give her that. Are you worried about Maligula? Raz, Maligula's ancient history. My grandpa killed her by triggering an elephant stampede. What? I never heard Look, about... You believe the official story, do you? I gotta go. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> yes, it is funny every time. <laughs> oh, Got fun. Hmm. There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. Okay, so clearly in the future we're gonna get some kind of mail power that lets us go through mail doors like this, but we don't have it just yet. Yep. I gotta look up who Sam's uh, voice actress is, because that's a really good voice. Going. Toilet card. <laughs> Man, they have the cards in the outhouses in one, they got cards in the toilet in two. Shoot. It's never gonna end. Can I jump over the camera? Out of my kitchen, Raz. Unless you want to end up a pancake. Tin can. Ooh, that's a good one. Bloodthirsty beast. Bloodthirsty beast. Bloodthirsty beast. Oh, what's in these trays? Uh. Probably not safe for human consumption, but... Sakura's VA from Naruto. I've never watched Naruto in English. And I've only seen one episode, and I don't think uh, Sakura was in that episode. It was the... The one episode I've seen was um, the, the one with uh, the, the sand guy fighting, uh, what was his name, Rock Lee, the guy with the big eyes and the bowl cut whose power was that he had no power, he was just really good at everything he did, or something like that. Again, I've only ever seen one episode, so I don't know anything about the series. 
But I do like the concept of like, oh, like here's all these ninjas with like their ninja powers. Uh, and then there's this one guy uh, who doesn't have ninja powers. He's just really, really good at what he does and what he does is kick your ass. Oh, was she also the voice of Polly from, from, from Mario's game? That's cool, good for her. Over on top of the diner. Can we get on top of the lumberjack? Can I get on top of the lumberjack and not fall down? Yeah. He likes to feel tall. She sang the song about the star? Yeah. Uh, whenever I think of Jump Up Superstar, I think of uh, this one YouTube comment that I saw a screenshot of that was like someone coming up with their own lyrics for it, and it had nothing to do uh, with the actual lyrics for the song, and I don't remember all of what it was, but I remember very vividly the last lines were, so come on, just play with me, and you know Luigi's my psychic bro. <laughs> and I think about that a lot. You know, Luigi's my psychic bro. You know it. You know that about Luigi. I could have also just climbed up this way to get the card. I, this was, like, significantly less complicated than I was making it out to be in my own head. These arrows are pointing this way. So I have to follow them. Well, the arrows lead me to a bit I can't progress through. Uh, that seems like a bug. That seems... See, like, you can see one right there, but, like, there's this wall in the way, so you can't get to it. Uh, that's... Hmm. I mean, you know, like, it's very easy to say. That seems like something that they should have caught in testing. But, like, you, you know, the testing process is long and complicated, and also sometimes, you know, not to the... Not, not to, like disparage the testers, but sometimes they do find these things and bring them up, and for whatever reason, they just don't end up getting fixed, because, like, QA leads think, oh, that's not important enough, or just because it slips through the cracks, things like that. It's, it's, you know. So just because, like, there's this impossible wall that you can't get past ever, and the game is completely broken, it's, you know, just make sure your blame is in the right places instead of going to the people that were doing their best and working as hard as they could. When the area is questionable. Thank you, PK something for the bits, I appreciate it. Speaking of bits, this bit sucks. <laughs> Let's just go. <laughs> That's an upside down waterfall. That's an upside down waterfall. The logs go up it. Holy shit. That's dope. That's a water jump. I gotta get used to the new swinging mechanics. I think I like them better than uh, Psychonauts 1 swinging mechanics, but also I'm still used to Psychonauts 1 swinging. Also, yeah, there's an Autobahn right there, isn't there? Oh, are people saying this is like a Gravity Falls thing? I've, I've literally never watched Gravity Falls. Well, no, I've seen the first episode. I saw the pilot episode, I liked it. And, uh, I like, um... I imagine people aren't gonna be too fussed about spoilers for that show, because, uh... Like, it's it's however old it is by this point. I liked I liked the two stands, what I, like, seen and heard about them. I'm also just a sucker for J.K. Simmons, so... God, that is cool, though. I'll probably get around to watching Gravity Falls one of these days. I do also like old men characters in general. Yeah. Uh, I was, like, working with a friend a while ago to come up with, like, a design for uh, a character uh, I was making uh, for, for a project. And, you know, uh, 
The character is a woman, uh, but because I'm predictable, as I am, I was like, okay, so, like, here's a bunch of inspirations I have for, like, this character and how I think she is, and it was, like, five or six different old men. And then I think, like, one person from Avatar. <laughs> Over there. Nope, that's not how you get that one. Oh, fall damage, huh? Go see mom in the campgrounds. She's worried sick about you. Oh, yeah, the family. What? What? <laughs> 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 Like it in my entire life. <laughs> oh, it jiggles and wiggles and tickles inside. I'm trying to remember what that's from. I think that's the old lady who swallows the fly. I don't know why it drove me to sing that specifically. Oh, they wiggle and jump. Video games are good. I'll take that card. Bounce. Yep. Oh. Bounce. This animal is the old lady who swallowed the fly? That's so sad for her. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. Now this. Oh, baby. Oh, this is animal. I've seen this one before. Crocomire. Yep. Croconaw. Crocodile. Crocker Spaniel. A cockatoo. Or perhaps it's an alligator. Oh, I probably just double jump, don't I? Yeah. Oh. Fun! This is like enrichment for Raz. Yep. Oh, I thought I saw a giant. Oh. oh. Here we go. Wrong button. I wanted to clarify to you. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Bye. Bye! Hello! Okay, bye! Hi! <laughs> Local psychic child harasses the wildlife. Can't leave this card lying around. There we go. Love to get side cards. Oh. What does the Q stand for? I guess we'll never know, huh? It'll be a mystery for the ages. I'll be on my deathbed asking this question. Yep. What else they got here in this area? I hope people weren't expecting, like, a ton of story progress today, uh, uh, because I'm having so much fun get just getting collectibles. Got it. I was gonna say I forgot how fun it is just to, like, 
goof around in a, a collectathon, but then I remembered I did just 100% complete Psychonauts the first one, like, a couple days ago, so maybe I haven't forgotten. <laughs> maybe I know quite keenly. <laughs> A car? Anything around this way? Nah. The music here is really nice, too. <laughs> music in this game in general is really good. You don't know how people saw teleport options, do you mean, in, in 2? Uh, you... I mean, in the one world I revisited, it's just like, it appears when you're revisiting a world. Like, I revisited Lobato's uh, on stream the other day, and like, my man teleport options was just there. Ah! Oh, never mind. I thought that was a Dark Souls shortcut. It's not. I've made a mistake. Card. He was holding the rod with his teeth, it's fine. It's fine. His teeth are strong. He's healthy. He's feeling great about this. You have nothing to fear. You have nothing to fear. You have nothing to fear. He got a card. He's feeling great about it. No problems here. No problems here with Rasputin. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's, fine. it's great. It's fine. And if there were any problems... No, there aren't. Smile. Oh, right, fall damage. Ah! <laughs> Fierro's funicular? I guess we could also check out this like, this big camper right here. I guess this is like a public bathroom. Oh, man, that smell! And not a camper, like I thought it was? Hmm. It's on the other side that I want it. This is the toilet zone. This is where you go to take dumps and stuff. This one's even worse. Hey, I see you. I see you. Show me your goodies. Thank you. a trading card just like on the floor of a of a of a bathroom like this never enough nix live at the launch pad that's a cute callback to rhombus wait hang on what is oh that's just another squirrel i like i saw this animal here from like far away and i thought it was just like a suchinoko I thought there was just straight up a Suchinoko here uh, <laughs> at Psychonauts HQ. That's not what it was. Okay, I'm glad it wasn't the only one who thought that it looked extremely like not a squirrel. Funicular? Ooh, a funicular. I mean, who doesn't love those? Don't even think about getting on that funicular before you visit your family! God, I love the rock just being flung across the whole map! <laughs> That's what that little thing just sort of like bumped off res and went flying into the sunset was. <laughs> Sister chucking the rocks at us. For a bad idea. I told you it was a bad idea. <laughs> it didn't stop me, but I mean, I told you. <laughs> also, thank you, Phantom Trash, for the bits. Stop looking at that dumb waterfall. Go see your family. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, that's back up here. Well, that is back up here. It's money. 
I have enough to afford something now. Oh, there it goes. Good wheel. Morris Martinez, and you're listening to KLOB, the smarter part of the low. I'm so bad at names. Morris was one of the interns, right? Did he actually get his pirate radio station going? Is that what this is? If so, hell yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Good for him. Hi. Creepy. There you are. Aw, oh, man. You found my private dancing place. Sorry. Too late. You ruined it. Why? Uh, Mom's looking for you. Bye, Queepy. What? There are no rules in horseshoes. Just the shoe, the stake, and your mind. I think Raz has a couple misconceptions about the horseshoes. Uh -uh. Ah, there we go. <laughs> if you want to be a spy so bad, why not start spying on your family over in the campgrounds? I'm a coming, I'm a coming. There we go, campgrounds. Sorry, campgrounds? Parking? <laughs> it's neat that there's dialogue for literally every single area, like, Come on, bud, go see your family. Come see your family. Forgive you. Mom? I mean, if little children never ran away from home, where would the circus get her workers, huh? Uh. What matters is that the Aquatos are all together again. And this little adventure of yours has actually given me fresh inspiration for our act. Me too! Did you see that unnatural and slightly gimmicky waterfall over there? Upside down? Stay away from it. No water. Too late, Nona. It has already watered the flower of inspiration in my heart and blossomed in two. Guess what I called it? Guess. The upside down waterfall? The devil's fire hose. Let's show our runaway how we do it, everybody. Creepy on the bottom. I like this redex of the meat circus theme. That's fun. I think that's Meat Circus theme, right? This would be easier if you didn't use so much hair grease. It'd be easier if your head weren't so pointy. <laughs> now, Rasputin, up top you go. Yes, son. And then you could add a little psychic flourish by levitating this pine cone. No, no. Then we pass each person up the tower like water flowing. No psychic flourishes. I told you. We are acrobats. We don't do parlor tricks. Uh, guys? Why not a little of both? Pops. Uh oh. You guys. Oh, shush. This is why we taught you how to fall as babies. <sighs> it's no use. We need the aquatodon. <laughs> I'm on it. Help him out, would you, Pooty? He's had to take on so much extra work since you abandoned your family and broke our hearts. That's a good boy. Youch. <laughs> if there's one thing the aquatos know how to do, it's making themselves at home. Anywhere. It's like, on the one hand, I get it, the child literally did run away from the home, but also, on the other hand, it's like, damn, I think I kind of get it, aside from the whole psychic thing. <laughs> Running away does seem extremely like a ten-year-old circus child's reaction of, like, dealing with that constantly.
Let's get this up. Yeah, Raz's family is from a fictional country called uh, Grulovia, but like they're they're very much supposed to be like Romani. Did you know I could do this? Hi, Nona. Oh, hello, my sweet little turnip. Are you comfortable? Do you need anything? I'm happy as long as I'm with my family. Aren't you cold out here in the woods? Ah, oh, please. I'm from Grulovia. This is nothing. Can I ask you about the curse? Don't go near the water. Yes, I know about that part, but then you know the whole thing. All you need to know. <laughs> Do you hate psychics as much as mom? You mean fortune tellers? Like the Galonkios, the ones who cursed us? They are not neutral. They are not trustworthy. Nona, who's your favorite grandchild? It's me, right? Oh, of course, you are my favorite. My sweet little Dion. Well, I gotta go back to my spy stuff. Good boy, now don't get that big head. Oh, yeah, uh, Romanian is very different from Romani. R Romanians are from it's Romania, that one, uh, and Romani is like, you know, like a, like a cultural ethnicity that's not necessarily tied to one country. Very different. Nice trick, Tala. Is Nona looking? Yes, and she looks really impressed. <laughs> oh, cute. Hey, Mom. Hmm. Oh, yes, Rasputin? What you doing? I'm trying to perfect the devil's fire hose, of course. It's a risky one, but I think this might be the spectacle that puts the Aquatos back on top. Can I help? Yes. Tell me how to make the devil's fire hose reach even greater heights. I mean, literally everyone here except maybe for you as psychic, we could use the psychic abilities. How about some psychic- Finish that sentence and it will kill your mother, Rasputin. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Maybe if everyone stood on tippy toes? Everyone is already stretched to their full height. I should know. I stretch them every day. What if we incorporate animals into the act? Overall, children are cheaper and slightly cleaner. <laughs> slightly. What if we set everyone's costumes on fire? Very exciting. But these are the only costumes we have, Rasputin. Seems like doing the trick horizontally would be safer. Safety doesn't fill seats, Rasputin. What if everyone were singing? Ugh, I'd rather die in water. Blindfolds? We tried that before. Remember the big pink eye epidemic? Shut us down for a week. Chainsaws? Who will pay for the gasoline, darling? Well, that's all the ideas I got. Sorry. Hmm. You really want to help me? Go find your brother, Queepy. He's wandered off again. Top of what? Top of the acrobatic world, Rasputin. As the Aquatos once were. Before the curse. Can I ask you about the curse? Not too loud. You know your father doesn't like to talk about it. But as you know, a cruel fortune teller cursed our family, Raz. Every Aquato for all time is cursed to die in water. The that curse. is why we had to leave our grand aquatic circus behind and start again at the bottom in this humble family troop. We may not have water anymore, but we still have the most important thing, right? We still have highly stretchable ligaments. Oh, yes, and family. Jeez. That's neat. I like that they like that, that little bit about how they used to have like... Uh, an aquatic circus and then the curse and so they had to they had to improvise rebrand to to not like literally drown doing their their life's work who cursed us too many questions stay away from the water that's all you need i stopped arguing with that woman long ago you know agent foresight is a very important psychonaut and she's really cool actually 
I think you'd really like each other if you hung out. The woman in the suit? Uh, we get along just fine. As long as we keep our distance. A circus can only have one prima donna. Sorry about running away. It's okay, Rasputin. I blame myself. Really? Why? I forgot to latch your door that night. You... you latch our door at night? From the outside? What? Only since Queepy started sleepwalking. Okay, I'm going to go practice my acrobatics. Uh-huh. Remember, every time you lie, it takes a day off your mother's life. God, this is- they like... fucking nailed the... <laughs> the like, overbearing, passive-aggressive mom with her, didn't they? Oh. Yes. My back really okay, well that ended up being fine, so that's okay. Uh, but I keep forgetting that I took clairvoyance off! <laughs> oh, cute! So good, Tyler! It's okay, she liked it, it was great! Ah. Uh. Yeah, I suppose that would explain a couple of things, Need wouldn't to it? Need practice more. Where is... Her dad? Where's he got off to? Really nice. Also, can we, like, get in any of these right now? Maybe not. I see money back here. What is? Thank you. Thank you. Father has breached containment. Warning, warning, warning. Here. Let's go back to setting up the uh, the circus. Help the old family out. Oh! Ooh, that bench got holes in it. Bench? Bridge. Maybe my brain's got holes in it. That's not true. My brain is nice. My brain is healthy. I just misspeak sometimes. I'm trying to be nicer to myself. High flying death defying Aquato family circus. <laughs> ah. I just realized I took like maybe literally the most possible roundabout roundabout path away uh, from where uh, they set up camp by going literally everywhere else. Uh, and thinking to myself, oh, uh, I should be following the tracks on the ground. Huh, that's weird. I don't see the tracks on the ground. Maybe if I just keep going a bit farther, I'll see them. Uh, having not realized that the tracks were way back here. Fortune tellers. Don't worry about helping out, Squirt. We're used to getting by without you. Punching bag. Hey, Dion. Mm-hmm. Mom told me you needed help. With what? Reading crystal balls? Beat it, Nostra dumbass. You sure look like you could use some help. You look like you could use a tailor. Looks like you need someone to release the ropes. I'll just pop up there and take care of it. Oh, really, Mr. Mental? You think you even remember how to be an acrobat? You'll see. We've been doing lots of acrobatics, come on now. You sure you're using the right knots on those support ropes? I don't know. Why don't you come a little closer so I can practice my knots on you? Look, Dion. I know you're mad about me running away. <sighs> don't flatter yourself. If you hadn't stolen Frazy's horse, we wouldn't have even noticed you were gone. Hey, I sent Sugar Q back home as soon as I got to the train tracks. Poor little thing was exhausted. Next time you run away, instead of taking the world's smallest pony, call a cab. 
you'll get farther. Maybe we won't be able to find you. Don't you think it's time to get over your anti-psychic stuff? I will when it stops hurting our family. Dad's a psychic. It's a phase. <laughs> Frazy's a psychic. Oh, that's a great example. Yeah, we should all be more like Frazy. Ow! We should, though. You wish you could be more like me. She's right, though. How long are you planning on being mad like this? Forever. Do you even realize what you've done to the Aquato name? Psychics? Fortune tellers? You let out our family's worst secret. This family has too many secrets. We'll be better off when they're all out. We'll be better off when you're out. Dion. Bye, Dion. Oof, yeah, he had that moment of like, oh, maybe I went too far. <laughs> Jeez, bud. <laughs> Family's got... Booty. Uh, some issues to work out, but I mean, at least things are better with Dad? Yep. That's progress, right? Oh. Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Where's the gun? There's the gun. The achievement for doing this is called Family is Intense. As in, in, like a tent. Okay, so that creepy mind stuff did save a little time. But I still don't have to like it. Deal. And you're welcome! Seeing the old Aquato Dome again reminds me of a trick Dion taught me once. Oh? If you need to bail out of a mid-air situation or just want to squeeze a little more distance out of your jump, press B while in the air to dive into to a tumble? Oh? Oh, oh fuck yeah! Yep. Hell yeah! <laughs> we can just... We can just... God, that rules! I love when when games let you do stuff like this with, with your midair jump. Yep. The good stuff. Got anything else to say? Hey, Dion. Mm-hmm. Bye, Dion. No, okay. Can we go in the tent? Yes, we can. Ah, the Aquato Dome. It's not big, but then again. Neither were our audiences. Oh. I'm just happy that it's not made of meat. <laughs> Wonder if there's any hidden goodies in the dome. The big jump. Wee! Oh. Wee! <laughs> nope, nope, go back, go back. That was a miss. I did, a, I did an accidental wall jump off the literal opposite end of the ladder. It's not what I wanted at all. Oh, hey, there's a goodie in here. My challenge markers are like a hobby of mine. <laughs> He's not holding onto this one with his teeth. That's too bad. <laughs> yeah, who did put that there? <laughs> did that just like come bundled with the tent? Was that just in there? Did someone like give that to them? Like, as, as payment for a show once, and they were just like, Thanks! What is this? Oh. Maybe Dad put it in there for us. 
Yeah, me dad thought it would be fun if he put that in there for us. It's like packing your kid at lunch, except you're packing your kid, uh, collectibles. <laughs> wish you got packed collectibles? Trust me, you really don't. They get stale after, like, a couple minutes. It's not worth it. Just, just like, get, like, fresh-baked ones. Like, you don't even have to make them yourself. Just, like, get them from the store or something. Yes, I can walk on this. I hear that radio. Fair bit of money. We're like almost full up now. <laughs> Wrong button. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't shoot my sibling. Okay. <laughs> Hi. What are you listening to? Some local radio station. I have no idea where it's coming from, but I love it. Oh. Can I listen to it with you? No! Oh, okay, bye! There better be a real Yeti in here, or I want my money back. I, I, I like the, like, little chunks of the relationship we've seen between Raz and Queefy, where it's like, you know, Queefy likes us, but Queefy just wants radio alone time. <laughs> See you next time! Did we go on this backwards? Did we go on this completely backwards? Please. Nessie would totally win because Nessie is real. Yeah. That's for inciting violence between cryptids. <laughs> hey, what's back here? Why must two legends fight? Can they not simply love one another? Why must we pit two legends against one another? Stars for an upgrade. Wrong button again. I'm never gonna stop pressing that wrong button. Uh, just like little Creepy to run off at a time like this. I have important Psychonauts business, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to keep an eye out for him around the questionable area. Uh, what can we afford? Let's see. Five points for the Wrecking Ball attacks, which I don't really care for right now. We need rank 30 for Dark Thoughts. Take no damage for brief period and entering clairvoyance. I, I'm not. I'm not super keen on that right now. More blasts is okay. Uh, Cooldown between TK plucks sounds good to me. Uh, that sounds the most immediately useful because I like chucking things. So being able to do that more often. We can now vigorously fling objects. Nice. Tunnel Man for the eight month resub. Appreciate it. Whoa, whoa, these are jumpables. Okay. I see. <laughs> Cute. That's uh that's a rib cage. Conclusive proof. Sasclops trademark is real. Self-portrait. Petrified droppings. Journal. Hmm. I wanna believe in Sasclops, but you're not making it easy, guys. Hmm. I want to believe in Sasclops, but you're not making it easy. Can't guys. burn that one. I'll take that card. Oh. Well, the expiration date on this thing is the year I was born. 
can of corn, can of corn, can of corn. The value of this mysterious artifact lies not in its nutritive content, but in its significance to the older generation of Psychonauts. We suspect it contains more secrets than corn. That's some old goddamn corn. What is that shadow being cast from? What, what light source is that? It's causing this. This is scary. I'm scared of this. This is real. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got some cans of corn that have been in my basement for like a very, very, very long time. That's an electrical outlet. That is fully an electrical outlet. <laughs> Cute. Pickups. Nothing up there. Oh, cute cave paintings. Cute. I like all the swirling effects on the rocks here. There's a there's a gap here. What does it mean? Does it mean anything, or is it just like a bit of? A bit of hole in the terrain. Hmm. Hmm. What if I could just turn sideways and squeeze right in? Just realize Raz leaves green slime on the walls he slides? It's it's his his it's What 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 happened? Hang on. <laughs> Bro, it's a fence. It's a fence. It's calm down, Raz, calm down! Help him! He's fine. It's it's the it's like the levitation ball. It's just like that manifesting. He uses that to bounce off of it. Like he uses yeah, it to I'm do double jumps. I'm trying to see why this questionable area went out of business. Oh god, it's a defunct like campsite. That's what it is. I thought it was like an actual camp still open for business that just happens to be near uh, the Psychonauts HQ, but no, <laughs> they went fully out of business. Okay, tents all set up, Mom. Hey, Mom. Oh, yes, Rasputin? Dion seems really mad at me. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll get over your betrayal of the family soon. Sheesh. I didn't betray the family. Listen, your father raised you all to mistrust and dislike fortune tellers. You mean psychics. Mental tricksters. And now your father has this change of heart. Suddenly everything Dion knows to be true is wrong. I'll tell you how to fix things between you. How? Help him with his chores. Go. Why did Dad raise all of us to hate psychics? Acrobats and fortune tellers have one of the great rivalries of the circus. One side uses skill and passion to bring thrills and joy to people's hearts. And the other bends spoons and curses whole families to die in water. But you say you are a psychic now, so we are all being very broad-minded. Yeah, I'm not keen on the joke people keep trying to make where they're like, Oh, the mom's using slurs! Oh! That's... don't do that. That sucks. I am a psychic. So's dad, and so's fr- Ow! Yes, and I still love you all. But please, don't rub my nose in it, Rasputin. How do you feel about dad being psychic? Every family has its secrets. The trick is to hide your shame away where no one can see it. That doesn't sound very healthy. Nope. It's smoking. Hey, everybody. My pine cone is... Oh, never mind. That's my thumb. Does that sound healthy to you? Okay, I'm going to go practice my acrobatics. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, Goblin King Mary, for the 14 months. 14 months of Polly and Peter's smile. Let's go back this way. Cool in here. 
about the same. Campfire? Hi, Dad. Dad? Hi, son. Think I'm getting any better at this? Press harder on your temples. Really? I'm already getting a bit of a bruise there. Just keep practicing. That's it? Clear your mind. If it were any emptier, I'd pass out. <laughs> Focus on the hottest thing you can think of. Okay, then. I'm thinking of your mother. Dad. Bro! <laughs> we're human beings, Rasputin. <laughs> Awesome. That's a dad joke to make. That's good. <laughs> You're really taking to this psychic stuff. Like, really hard. Well, I guess I'm making up for lost time. Plus, it could be a fun father and son activity for us to do together, don't you think? Uh-huh. Dad, can I ask you about where we come from? You mean, Grilovia? That's a sad story, son, but there were some glory days back in the old country. The Aquatos were part of a very prestigious national circus there. We even performed for the Tsar and his family from time to time. But then that monster Maligula ruined everything. Actually, Maligula's not ancient history. Some of her followers are trying to bring her back to life. What? The Psychonauts think one of her delusionists have infiltrated the base as a mole. Then be careful what you tell them, son. You're more connected to Maligula than you should say. What's that? Oh, hi! What do you mean we're connected to Maligula? She comes from the Galocchio family. The family that cursed all of our family to die in water? Son. She is the Galocchio who cursed our family to die in water. Ah. And it worked. My father drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster, but my mother, your Nona, survived. She escaped Grilovia and came here to get away from the curse. Yeah, I thought those, like, watery hands coming out of, uh, like, things associated with her were suspicious. Hmm. What do you think of the Devil's Fire Hose? No, oh, it's going to be a showstopper, I can tell. Your mother never disappoints, you know. I just wish she'd let me add a little, you know, razzle-dazzle. Oh, yes, like that. I also, I like that, like, uh, our dad is, like... Like, like Raz's dad is, like, struggling just to do, like, really basic stuff here, like, lift a little pine cone, set it on fire for more than, like, a brief second, uh, when, like, in, uh, in Psychonauts 1, like, people made comments about, like, Raz's mind being strong and hard to read and things like that. He just, he just kind of, like, burst right in, uh, right at the end to help us out, and it's like, holy shit. Like the psychic equivalent of, oh my god, someone's stuck under a car, I need the adrenaline to fucking lift it up and get them out. Wild. Thanks for helping out back at summer camp. Well, I could tell somehow you were in trouble. Probably because of our psychic connection. So, how is Lily? I couldn't help but notice when I was inside <laughs> your mind Dad. that you had some uncertainty. About the status. Of Dad, is this the time or the place? What's that? Just tell her how you feel, son. Tell us all how you feel, Raz. <sighs> I don't think Mom's on board with this psychic stuff. Oh, she'll get used to it. Like she did with my model train hobby. <sighs> Still so sad about how that elephant sat on my whole collection. Oh. Dad, our circus doesn't have any elephants. Mm. Oh? True. Not sure where that animal came from. I'll have to ask your mother. She's the one who saw it happen. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's sad. You know who else in the family is psychic, right? 
Does it rhyme with Daisy? Yes, and also with lazy. Well, if that's true, then it's for her to tell us about some, not you. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> I had that coming. I'll let you get back to practicing. Yes, yes. I think I'm almost there. <laughs> I do appreciate that he's just kind of like, yeah, I guess I kind of deserve that one, don't I? <laughs> Wrong button. Uh... How could I not? It caught fire! A little. Mr. Aquato, you almost started a forest fire just then. Oh, well, uh, I don't know about that. I do. You had me really scared. Really? Well, I promise to be careful. Let's see if I can do that again. How does Dad see us? Also was a little circus boy. Cute. <laughs> Don't stop now, sir. Hey, I found some of those scavenger. Mission critical psychonaut assets? Hand them over. Can I have my clothes back yet? Kid, you got a long way to go. Better get moving. Hello, little squirrel. Doing great, Mr. Aquato. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Norma's either like trying to suck up to her dad or she's mocking him. Diner? Oh! of goodies are in this area. area. We've got most of the Psy cards. We got two supply chests. We got three of the card or keys and two out of seven Psy challenge markers. My goodness. Have we been in this bit yet? Looks like we have. Unless. No, wait, no. This is how we got in here. The cave. We have been in there. Yeah. yeah, I suppose we can go back. Come on, come on. There we go. Did I have to do that? No, but I wanted to. And that's what matters. But now that I've got the ball power, I want to keep using the ball power, because the ball power is fun. This is going to make me fall, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, like, I would appreciate it if people in chat weren't, like, fucking weirdos, like, calling for violence against the characters in this game. Like, the, the interns are teenagers. They're, they're like a bunch of snotty teenagers. They're like that because teens are like that. was a hole in it. I thought I could, like, peek through it and just be like, hey, I'm in the no sign. Guess I am kind of in the no sign right now, though, aren't I? Oh, yeah, the psycho-isolation chamber. Let's see. So. Get access to the Bowling League, Senior League membership card. Access the secure mailroom, the spare brain. 
Compton is the only agent around here that has a card to access the Bowling League. He's supposed to be in the psycho-isolation chambers outside the Mother Lobe. Ford won't let me into the Bowling Alley without a Senior League membership card from a current member. The only surviving member of the League appears to be Compton Bull. Hi! Hi! Uh, hi? Hey, over here! What's hi. your name? It's, it's, it's Rasputin. Welcome! Can you hear me? I said, what's your name? Cute. Wait, 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 let me guess. Yes. Cody? No. no. Max? No. Hector? No. Finn? No. Angus? No. Bart? Not Bart. Seth? <laughs> Not Seth. Sergio? <laughs> you said Seth with such malice! Seth! Pete? It's not Pete. Mike? It's not Mike. Rufus? It's not Rufus. Waldo? No! Milo? Try again. Eagle? It's not Eagle. Rock? It's not Rock. Tranquility? Nope. Justice? Nope. Kalidus? I knew a kid named Justice Saul? when I used to go to the YMCA as a kid. Tootie! Fester? Fester. Robespierre? It's it's not Robespierre, or Robespierre, rather. It's, I mean, kind Carol? of. Oh, wait, that's my name. I mean, you were kind of right with Darden Young, but... Oh, well. I'll just call you Hooty, like an owl, because you're so quiet and mysterious. Okay. You're all right, Hooty. <laughs> Something about you I like, Hoots. Mind if I call you Hoots? Oh, jeez. Oh, I've gone too far. I'm just gonna be quiet now. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Hoots. <laughs> Hello. Finally! I thought you'd never say hi. I tell ya, I have been waiting for someone to come visit for a long time. I was starting to think I was invisible. You ever get that feeling? Well, there was this one girl who looked kind of like a blue scarecrow. But she scared me. But you seem nice. So did I guess your name right? It's Raz. Oh, that was the very next name I was going to say, I swear. <laughs> so, how long are you committing yourself for? Committing myself to what? Psycho-isolation, silly. We don't commit people anymore without their consent. Unless they're a danger to themselves or others. How many people you got in there? Oh, just Agent Bool right now. He likes it in there. Keeps him from feeling overwhelmed by all the you-know-what in the woods. Squirrels? Voices. He can't shut them out. Can you believe he even finds me overwhelming? <laughs> yeah, I can believe it. <laughs> so anyway, I've got a nice room ready for you if you'd like it. Actually, I'm just here to visit Agent Bool. Oh, well, okay. Just be careful. Don't ask him too many things at once, or he'll curl up into a little ball and something might explode. Hi! Hi! God, the expressions in this game are really good. I'd rather not. Excuse me? Oh, you don't want to stay in the PIC? Listen, I don't blame you. Hi! I'd rather not. Excuse me? Oh, you don't want to stay in the PIC? Listen, I don't blame you. That... Hi! That line feels a little weird. I'm not sure why. Something about that just seems like... Dialogue that was meant to be somewhere else in the game. Oh, he does have one little friend in there. Ah. We can't pierce, uh... 
through the psycho isolation chamber, which, you know, makes sense. Hmm. I see what you're doing there. Wait, oh my mm. god, that's the rat from. That's oh, the rat from what's it called? Clever, Rhombus. Don't you? That's Harold. Looks like there's a senior league membership card stuck in this frame. Hey, don't even look at that. It's private. Agent Bull? Huh? Oh, he looks so sad and scared. Oh no. Hi, I'm Rasputin. I'm a friend of your grandson. Oh no. He hasn't hurt anybody else, has he? No humans that I know of. Good. <laughs> Good. Oh. I see Lizzie introduced you to Harold. Oh no. Harry Kasparov here showed up on his own. Harry Kasparov. So why is Lizzie still out there looking for animals? Oh, well, I mostly sent her away well, just because there was too many voices in here. Hint, hint. Oh. Do you need help getting out of there? No, I put myself in here. Why did you put yourself in there? Well, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. And when I get overwhelmed, accidents happen. Sometimes it's like that. Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh no. W with what? I really like Compton's voice. This is a good voice for this character. I need a Senior League membership card. What? Well, don't look at mine. Please, Agent Bull. It's important. That bowling card is a precious memento of a dear friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she... die? No, no, she's somewhere. Out in the forest. What? Well, let's go find her. Well, I've tried for years, but I just can't anymore. Yeah, I do, I do really like this voice. It's so, like, polite and gentle and, like, tired and sad and stressed out. It's, like, they fucking nailed the performance for him. I need help catching the mole and the psychonauts. Sorry, don't do moles. They're little snuts. Give me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, but I like them. No, I mean there's a counter-spy in the organization. Oh, well, I'm retired from spy work. A danger to myself and to others, they say. Who would say that? Me. Oh. I need help fighting Maligula. Ah! You need to warn a gentleman before slapping him in the face with a name like that. She's long gone, but the scars are still painful. Jeez. Someone's trying to bring Maligula back. Ah! Well, I, I suppose I had enough warning that time. Listen. <laughs> Maligula is dead and gone. Even if she were to return, I was no help fighting her the first time. I'll be sitting out any future Maligula battles for everyone's protection. For everyone's protection. Poor guy. Please let me borrow your Senior League membership card. No! Now buzz off! Mm, Buzz off! Hey, hang on a second. Exactly what I was thinking, Harold. The bees could help. The what? Cassie and I always loved working with bees in the forest. If Sorry, the bees can what? Just one bee? I'll bet I could talk to it and find out where my Cassie is. No kidding? Here, take this and hurry. Okay, one bee coming up. Let's go get bees! Plus one empty specimen jar. Compton wants me to bring back a bee in this thing. I hope I don't get stunned. Let's see, what else have we got? We've, we've looked at all these, I think, already. Yeah, the trusty side portal in my pocket-sized door to the rental world. Okay, I'm off to the forgetful forest to find a bee for Agent Fool. This is a serious mission, no matter how adorable it sounds. <laughs> it does sound pretty cute, doesn't it? We need to find a single little bee for our friend. Hi. I'd rather not. Excuse me? Oh, this again. Hi! Okay. Scanning for thinker print. I came out here looking for something. Access what was it? Oh, granted. right! A brain for Nick! So I can see to see four. No! And to keep... uh, Ow! Rez! <laughs> I'm literally looking Sorry, for bees! Sorry, little brother! 
I thought you were a rabid squirrel. Knock it off, crazy. <laughs> Okay, bye, Frazy. Oh, was that meant to play earlier? Huh. Interesting. Well, it played now. Uh, where is the forgetful forest? That's in the questionable area. Okay. What else in the quarry? Mother lobe. The isolation chamber to right now. Research and development, which you've not been to yet. I guess we could go there. Yep. Ah, good. Anyone want to see my oarsman's badge? No? I like that Raz is still concerned about his summer camp badges. I feel like if this game is going to be open world, they should expect players to do things out of order. It, it, it is, and they did. They literally have, like, things in the in the guidebook saying you can do this in any order. The order you do this in does not matter. Like, just because a couple of things, like, slip through the cracks doesn't mean that, like, they didn't account for it necessarily. Or, like, didn't account for everything. I'm not wording this right at all, but, like, hopefully you get what I mean. Why are there cars parked here? There's nowhere to drive them. There's like... Oh, wait, no, there is like this a toll bridge here. Martinez, and you're listening to KLOB. We probe the mother load. There, there totally is just a place any... here. Oh, I was listening to the radio. Come on. Sorry. Automobiles only. And apparently, beat up circus caravans. Where's ah. that road go? Just to the highway and the questionable area. Ooh. I've always wanted to go to the questionable area. Oh, that's too bad. Raz, we were literally just there. Raz, you literally just went there. Hey, the only way to get <laughs> there on foot is through the old mine. And that's a death trap. Thanks. I probably just saved your life. Let's get back to the music. Here on KLOB. Careful. Looks like you're starting to burn a little. Oh man, the other guards are gonna be so jealous. <laughs> Careful. Looks like you're starting to burn away. Oh man, the other guards are gonna be so jealous. <laughs> the other guards are totally gonna be like, wait, what do you mean Agent McDamish is allowed to see the sun? What the fuck do you mean? Seem safe? Scanning for fingerprint. Access granted. Yippee! Seem safe? <laughs> nice to see you again, Rasputin. And you've managed to stay clothed. Very good. Wow, look at all these gadgets. Gadgets? Sorry, machines. Psycho-reactive technology? Rasputin, I thought you would recognize these for what they are. These are dreams. Oh. Where do you think machines come from? They spring forth from the human imagination. They are human thought made real. I invented that one when I was angry. <laughs> when I designed that one, I was sad. Oh, it's that cute! One, uh, I was just hungry. Incredible! Glad you like them. You know, I'm not supposed to check out equipment to interns, but Agent 9 seems to put a lot of faith in you, my boy. 
So, if you'd like to try one out, just let me know. <laughs> oh, man. I like Otto a lot. How does Otto see me? Huh. Interesting. Agent Mentalis? Uh, yes, Rasputin. This guy's VA was in Doom Eternal? What? Who's, who's his VA? What character did he play in that? Got any cool devices to lend out? Shh. Interns aren't allowed to check out my devices. But if you were to take your time, say, delivering one of these to Sasha or Mia, well, that would be none of my business. This one is a thought tuner. Use it to find stray thoughts floating around the world. Wait, he played the Dark Lord? He he played he played the fucking super devil? He played the fucking mega devil in the, the DLCs? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I, I, really? <laughs> Holy shit! And this psi enhanced camera is for creating photographic memories. I'd train you how to use them, but uh, that would only increase my legal liability. Have fun. Otto has loaned Raz some gadgets to help in his adventures. This can be activated by holding right or left. Try them out for more info. And thanks for delivering those items to Sasha and Mia. You're welcome. What's your theory on the mole? Oh, uh, I really haven't thought too much about it. Maybe I should make a lie detector. So is Maligula as bad as people say? Oh, I don't like to think about that name. If my device had just worked better that day, so many things would be different now. A device. Also, yeah, this guy totally has no teeth, does he? What device did you build to fight Maligula? The Hyper High Glaciator. It amplified our hydrokinetic powers and allowed us to freeze water semi-permanently. But Maligula threw our friend Helmet in the water just before the device went off. He was frozen so deeply in my hyper ice, we were never able to recover his body. Only Ford saw it happen, and he is unable to tell us where to look for it. So you're saying there's a chance he's still alive. So you're saying there's a chance that he was just preserved in the hyper ice. For all these years. Oh god. How do these machines make contact with your mind? The secret is the Cytanium. It's a psychoreactive quartz-like mineral that responds to and amplifies psychic energy. It vibrates with the psychic waves, driving the machines. Well, I... Ought to let you get back to work. <laughs> very, very uh, humorous. Oh yeah, I saw someone in the chat. Uh, it scrolled by a little fast, but I saw someone say uh, they worked on this game. And they wanted to stop by. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by. Uh, your game is wonderful so far. I you imagine it's. Be back oh, here. it's not safe. I imagine also, it's going to continue being problem. wonderful. Uh, I am uh, having an absolute blast with this so far. So thank you for all your hard work. Feels great to see people enjoy it. Oh man, I can imagine. Some brand new items here. I should buy some things. Another core, I think. Yeah, I can get one more. Uh, let's get that. Let's combine that psychor with your card so you can rank up. Oh, cute. We can get little filters for the camera that we just got. Uh, we can also get... <laughs> bigger wallet. <laughs> Although... There was one pin I saw, I think. Yeah, that lets us get more... Uh... Oh, we have to be a higher level for that. Never mind, never mind. Okay. Uh... Well, I'm not hurting for cash space right now, so maybe I could just buy some other pins. Uh, middle connection has a chance to restore electrical energy. Sounds good. Great! Great that I finally got rid of that. 
For a second, we can't use that one yet. Uh, that just makes it prettier. Uh, magnetize, I would like that. That'll get you out of a sticky situation. Uh, set phasers to stun for this one. Won't drain as much of your mental energy. Well, I gotta get this one. I don't have a choice. I have to get it. That choice says a lot about you. Throw an object with enemies for much longer. I'll buy that. Wise choice. Keep that in the pockets. Six years of filming for the documentary about this game? Oh, jeez. That's exciting. Oh, that's exciting. I want to sink my teeth into that when that's out. Uh, let's get more space for something. Firebug, for giving that gift set out to DF James. That's awful generous of you. And let's buy. Uh, Unlike dream fluffs, you gotta remember to use these. these, okay? Big thanks to you and Penny for encouraging me to try out the original Psychonauts again. Hey, hell yeah! Like I only ever played it like for the first time this year, so like. I don't have any of the nostalgia for it that a lot of people do because I like came into it completely fresh. Uh, I think that game is like a fucking delight. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. Cyclops will keep you in the fight. I'll keep two of those in the pocket for now. Just combine. Nice. No refunds. It's all back here. Oh. Mystery. Hello? What's this? Approved hazing rituals for new agents. Jeez. <sighs> Some things never change, I guess. All right. What's that? Agent orientation laser disc. <laughs> it's a laser disc. This video contains sensitive information about the Psychonauts, as well as outdated advice that could cause serious mental energy, the mental injury, uh, if followed, and associated lawsuits. Do not watch before returning. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, a laser disc. The cheat's playing something on a laser disc. <laughs> Can't leave this card lying around. Free cards for me. I think that means I can just like get another cord, uh, core now, and get powered up from it. That's a bunch of brains in here. Ooh, yeah, I saw someone mention it in chat, but, you know, since we have uh, the, the, the privilege of having a dev in chat, I do just want to echo that. But, like, uh, I mean, I'm only a little bit into this game, but, like, you know, in the first one and what I've seen of this one so far, the way this game handles its themes... Uh, imagine I'm doing the chef's kiss right now. You can't see me, but I'm, I'm doing the, 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 the little kissing my fingers like the Italian chef. Mwah! It's real good. I love this game's writing. I love this game story. I also love getting little goodies to collect like this. <laughs> Agent Mentalis? Uh, yes, Rasputin? Well, I ought to let oh, you I get back to, to you. work. I have everything for me. Very, very uh, humorous. Try to be really thoughtful. Goals always to make sure. Oh, hang on, chat scrolled up and I wanted to see what that message said. 
goal is always to make sure characters are empathetic first and foremost. Well, I'd say you did a bang-up job of that, so... Good work, and also thank you for... Some brand new items for, here. For having that being like a... Sort of a guiding principle of, of your work. That's wonderful. Let's combine that Psycor with your card so you can rank up. Give me the goods, give me the goods, give me the goods, give me the goods. Nice. I don't think I need any more gadgets right now. Good, because I would never trust one to someone so young. Of course. <laughs> Oh yeah, the camera. The auto shot camera allows Raz to take photos in both the physical and mental worlds. Additional filters can be purchased at the automatic to add style to your photos. Oh. I get why they did it, so this isn't a complaint, but I do love it when like photo modes and stuff let you like clip into your character's head. <laughs> can I do that to someone else? Uh Where's the pose button? I, I read somewhere that uh, the pose is being missing is like a known issue on the PC version, but there's like a, a beta branch on Steam right now that enables it, and I forgot to, to download that before stream. <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 a known issue. I've heard, you know, how it is with software development. It happens. Uh, this is fun. I can fly around like a little bug. Whee! Oh. Limited range on it, though. That makes sense. Start a game dev yourself, and it's giving you a newfound respect for the making of games you already love, this one included. Yeah, uh, like, my, my previous background before I did streaming was, like, uh, software development, so, like, it, I, like, that's not necessarily, like, inherently the same as it is when you make a video game, but like, you know, it's given me like at least some of an understanding and appreciation for how the sausage is made. Nobody's eaten you yet? Well, don't take it personal. I'm so glad they keep bringing back the crab sandwich. <laughs> I'm so glad the crab sandwich keeps coming back. <laughs> oh. I'm looking forward to uh, the the DLC that they're definitely going to make, where you have uh, a 30-hour cinematic adventure playing as Crab Sandwich. I can't wait for that. It's definitely going to happen, by the way. Scanning access granted. Will that close the doors? Yes, it will. Nice. Oh, and then it opened them again. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> I'm getting the sense there are some stray thoughts nearby. People yeah. might think this thought tuning looks dorky, but I think it's cool. Yeah. Thought tuning lets Raz tune into the thoughts of the energy of stray thoughts floating around the physical world with gadget equipment or point trigger to those details. Search. I think it's the other direction. Heat, getting closer. Huh. Found some thoughts. Thanks, Thought Tuner. Oh? It unlocks real-life grapple points? You mean I can do grapple points in, in the open world as well? Okay, game of the year. Come with me, Psy Challenge Marker. Okay, game of the year. <laughs> I've decided. <laughs> Hi, Brady. How you doing? <laughs> Good news for you, my friend. They do, in fact, have thoughts in this one.
the suits over here. I did not go to this area yet. Oh, wait, right, I have the thing so that I can... You should meet my friend Dogen. You seem non-threatening. I can pet animals now. You know, I could probably get you a job in the circus. How's your balance? Hi there. Cute. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that, Brady. Hope things are working out for you. What's your opinion on no-kill traps? <laughs> oh. I do like this, uh, after the first game, where you do just kind of, like, accidentally, or on purposely, that? Straight thoughts, I'm set a bunch of animals on fire. Catch you straight top. Oh, right here, okay. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about God, uh, near the end of when I was doing, uh, Psychonauts 1 and accidentally rolled over like a squirrel or something and Raz just went, see you in hell! <laughs> Enough interim credits for an upgrade. Okay. Let's get a power. We can get... Uh, we can upgrade Pyro right now. We can up oh, wait. Swift lift. I want this one. I want this one. I want this one. I want this one right now. And hey, there's an achievement for fully upgrading an ability. Now I can pick up the heavy stuff like it's nothing. Now that's the good stuff I'd like to see. Hey, I know that radio. Hey, I recognize that radio. I recognize that song. What? What? Too far? <laughs> again, again. Yeah, that one I don't jump, I just let it go. There we go. Oh, hey! This must be where the pirate radio is happening. Still a little skate boy. Hey, guys! Uh, busted! Now we gotta burn this site and find a new base of operations. I'm not an arc. Pirate radio, Gisu. Gotta be ready to bug out in 30 seconds flat. If you feel the heat all around the corner. Relax, Morris. <laughs> I'm not a narc. Exactly what a narc would say. <laughs> Where'd you get the radio? Gisu fixed up Coach's old transmitter and made it more powerful. Uh-oh. Just be careful you don't fall asleep on that thing and broadcast your dreams out to the world. Who would ever be dumb enough to do that? Meh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cute callback. Also, thank you, Miss Moth Streams, for the 10 month lease up. I really appreciate that. So, why a radio station, Morris? Shouldn't you be working with Mia? Mia wants me to learn how to reach out into the world. And this is how I'm gonna do it with radio. Have you told her about this yet? No, I'm waiting until we get back our first ratings report so I can show her how effective it is. Okay, I need to go report my findings to the radio police. Ha <laughs> ha. Love the positive vibes of this stream? Oh, thank you. That's, that's, that's how I try to keep things if I can help it. I'm, I'm glad it, it shines through to folks. <laughs> Just the all Paul poster. Oh my god! The fire starters! Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> that's such a good callback! Hey, Gisu. Sputin Aquato, say, you seem like the reckless and resourceful type. Y yes, I why? I have a challenge that I think is perfect for a young man of your disposition. Interested? Can you tell me what it is first? Can you tell me what it is first? Sorry. It involves some secret high-tech stuff I'm not at liberty to disclose to the non-committal. Sounds dangerous. I'm into it. Whatever it is, I'm into it. Wow. Even more reckless than I thought. Impressive. Here's the issue. My mentor, Otto Mentalis, deployed several psycho seismometers like this one to detect and collect negative psychic residue. Oh, I saw one of those. The problem is, 
he kind of forgot about them for a long time. So now they're all overloaded and unstable. I thought instead of me going around venting all these nasty things and stealing all the glory, you want me to do it? For extra credit, you're welcome. And to free me up for more high minded engineering work. Okay. Come on, rap. Wait, you said yes? All right, good man. <laughs> well, if you survive, be sure to report back, okay? Casey's a fun character. I like her. I like all the interns, honestly. Thank you, the Flesh Muskrat, for the bits. <laughs> I really appreciate that. The springy hair curl is really good, yeah. Yep. What's up here? Oh, it's a card. Oh, cute. They have a flag for the radio station. Oh. Thank you, maybe witching for the bits. I appreciate that. <gasps> Real grind, real grind! Yeah! <laughs> oh, then on to the springy bit. Yoink. Hell yeah. Thank you, Inverted Arrow, for the two month reset. I really appreciate that. R1, R2, L1, R2, up down left, right up down left, right now you're running off. Congrats on your very secret cheat code that no one else in the world is ever able to enter now. Because you were the first in the world to enter it. And now it's disabled for everyone else. <laughs> Thank you for the reset. I really appreciate that. I wonder if I can get over there. I wonder if I can get over there. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. I'm making a mistake. I'm making a mistake. What am I doing? <laughs> oh. That's an extremely funny time for my control of the DC. <laughs> well, I think we've all learned a valuable lesson today. Uh, and it's don't try whatever I was just trying. <laughs> also, we've learned that curses can be transmitted be to controllers. And that's why we listen to our Nona, yeah. And also, yeah, Raz is saying that, but the one, like, giant lake monster he's met was really nice. Oh, I can't, I can't dis disembark here. Oh, there's a, there's a dock there. I can... Uh, my boat was a little bit unhappy with my... Admittedly pretty shoddy boating scales, but you know how it is when your boat starts wiggling and bonking. Yeah. Oh, you can like jump up those to go up them faster. That's fun. I'm gonna call you Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Oh, God, no, don't slip. Don't slip. Don't slip. Don't slip. Don't slip. No, Raz, yeah. don't slip. Ra Raz? Raz, you gotta work with me here, bud. Raz, come, come on. Come on. Oh. Alright, this is fine. I can just go down here. That's what I wanted to do, anyways. We've almost got all the cards in here. Yep. I feel a little bad. I, I, I'm worried that, like, uh, I can't advertise today's stream. It's like, oh yeah, we're gonna find Ford Cruller. We're gonna do, like, so much involving him. It's gonna be great. And, like, we, we saw him for that one little bit, and it was great. And then the rest of the stream so far has just been me getting collectibles. <laughs> I suppose that is the nature of the beast, you know, when you do have, like, a collect -a platformer kind of like this, so... I suppose you're right. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, I appreciate it. God, that bounce is so good. Oh, jeez! Hi! Just wanted to say thanks for creating wonderful and wholesome content. Watching you is a great pick-me-up at the end of a long day. 
Hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, hell yeah. I'm happy to hear that. Thank you for the very generous tip. I really appreciate that. Oh, I did not go high enough for that. That's okay. Oh, fun swing, though. Where does this take us? Whoop, whoop. That's one rank up for me. One new home for you, side challenge marker. Oh, hell yeah. And also, yeah, at some point I might accidentally, like, wander into somewhere that gives me story progress, and that's fine. <laughs> Hell yeah, it is. Thank you, Sandwich, for the 16-month resub. I really appreciate that. God, yeah, the sounds up here is good. This is good walking sounds. This is, like, a thing a lot of games do nowadays, but, you know, because I'm, like, uh, the ripe old age of 20... almost 27 as of this month... Uh, I'm used to lo a lot of games just having the same walking around Such sound, but this is good. Too, this, baby can fit so many funny little this is the good little detail I like. Also, thank you, Doomer Skeletor, for the tip. I appreciate it. You can slide down that? Can you slide up? No, of course you can't, but... Hell yeah. <laughs> The developers, when they were making this game, uh, they were thinking about stuff they could bring back from one, and they were like, listen, you know those grind rails we had? Well, someday, Holly's gonna play that game, and she's gonna love them, so we gotta put more of them in the sequel. Uh, they did that for me specifically, and I can never thank them enough for it. Because everyone knows the people who made this game are psychic, and they uh, use that to look into the future and see that eventually I would play it. That's going to be in the documentary. Uh, it's going to be at the 17 hour mark. Uh, it's going to be really quick on like a whiteboard and you're going to miss it. So keep your eyes peeled. But uh, it's going to be there. I promise. And if I'm wrong, I'm only joking. So you can't get mad at me. Okay. I'm smiling so sweetly at the camera now. Oh, I want this marker. I want the marker. Looks like danger. Is that good what we have just done? We're flipping the switches, is that good? Oh, no, that's- I don't want to touch that like that. Come on. Yep, yeah, can't do that left branch. <laughs> what have you missed? Uh, at the beginning of stream, we saw Fort Kreller. Uh, we brought him into the Psychonauts HQ. We got uh, a quest telling us things we need to do to help him out, eventually leading into going to his brain. Uh, our family caused a ruckus and arrived and set up their circus. Uh, and then I got a bunch of collectibles, and I'm still in the process of getting a bunch of collectibles. <laughs> this is too pretty to leave out. Because I like getting collectibles. Holly expertly dodges this mini. What? What do you mean, dodges? What? What puzzle? This was a platforming challenge. I think I got the order wrong. Oh. Oh, I see. There we go. I knew I was good at science. Good news. I solved the puzzle. So, um, now I didn't skip anything. <laughs> I'm pretty good at platformers. <laughs> Wrong way. Let, let, let me go back. Did I ever mention I've played a platformer or two in my life? <laughs> Once or twice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, let's, that's, no, that's Lobato. Let's check the map. Uh, we got most of the challenge cards. We got... Most of the markers, uh... So, we went to the mother lobe. 
because that's the big main area. You're the reason we need invisible walls. You, I, I think you missed it because you only got here a little bit ago. Literally, uh, in the questionable area, I kept trying to jump over the fence and just being like, well, I, I think there's an invisible wall here, but maybe I can get past it. Maybe I can find a way to get past it. <laughs> Thank you for making all these wonderful platforming challenges. And also, I'm sorry. <laughs> went to R&D. Uh, the Mux Turbine is what we're at now. Jet landing pad is right next to the mother lobe. Uh, the bridge is down and abandoned mine. We can go to the abandoned mine. Oh, I did I did accidentally find one place on my first stream uh, where uh, you can get like permanently stuck and it soft, soft locks the game uh, by jumping between like two pieces of furniture you really shouldn't be trying to jump between. Uh, and I, I should probably submit that as like an official bug report at some point. I keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> Thank you, Minuet, for the tip. No details, of course. But a few hours ago, I reached a certain point in the game and thought how Polly is going to love us. And I'm hoping so much that I'm in the stream to see it when you get to it. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> You'll love to hear that, you do. Where, where am I going? I'm going completely the wrong way. Thank you for the tip. I really appreciate that. Uh, oh, right. I do have to go back up here to get to the, the turbine bit. Why did I go down? I'm a fool for this. Listen, I'm a sucker for finding, like, little bits in games where you're really not meant to go, but finding a way to go to them anyways. <laughs> It's my jam! Um... Oh! <laughs> well, that worked! <laughs> that was fun! Alright, let's go back to this bit. Because... There was that thing that we saw earlier, and now Gisu told us what it is, so we can, like, do things with it. Listen, I'm just saying, it's the hallmark of a really good platformer to have, like, Careful, you know... Careful! Oh. It gets pretty advanced up here! Not for little kids. Okay, thank you, Tracy. <laughs> it's the hallmark of a really good platformer, you know, to have, uh, like, the one or two defined intended routes that the game designers, like, thought, this is what most people are probably going to go for, uh, and yet to also give you, like, the tools and also, like, the environment design you need to come up with alternate routes. Yep. Uh... And this game so far seems to have that in spades, if my way I've been playing this is any indication. <laughs> you. Remember earlier in the stream where I just like wall jumped up this bit instead of taking the the, the rocks and the vines over here? <laughs> yep. Whoop, that's wrong, don't do that one. I don't actually know how to do this through the vines. Thank you, Vince Rainey, for the sub. Most of the time, we do find broken ways of completing things, but as long as it doesn't hurt quest progression or anything, we'll leave it. Hell yeah! I get why uh, there's a lot of game devs. I suppose me not necessarily a lot, but like I get why there's like some game devs that like don't necessarily build uh, like their games that way. But like I do appreciate it. Uh, Whenever there is there is a game like this, where like there are many ways you can get to a pathway or like through a certain area, and then there's like the one way that's like, oh, this is probably how most people will do it, but there's a lot of other ways you can try to get through here as well. That's fun to me. That's wonderful to me. That's exciting to me. I'll just gently release the. Oh, hey, 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 hey! Oh, okay, in we go. Uh -oh. It's access some sort of fight or flight center in my own brain. All right, all right, <laughs> here we go. Anything to grab? Uh, so let's start burning things. Oh. God, it's been a while since I got a bit of combat in this game. I 
I burned you too as well. There we go. And then, uh, I got nothing to throw, so I should get, uh, target is this. Gotcha. Burn? Hey. Oh! I'm, I was literally just about to say, I'm getting better at the combat. Oh, I think that, like, dodge attack thing that we unlocked is, like, a perfect dodge sort of thing, because, like, I am, like, timing through those attacks and not getting hurt. Uh, pick up bits of the floor, I think, is an upgrade to telekinesis, but we don't have it yet. Uh... Okay, give me a- wait. Haha! -ha! There's an achievement for that that I didn't get yet. And there's now a telekinesis to you. Man, telekinesis in this game is fun. Birds you. Oh, okay. Don't underestimate the little guys. Yep, get both. Ah, dang. Hey, nice, not bad. I'm getting better at the combat. Whew. These machines are more work than I expected, but it looks more stable now. Wild to watch someone who's actually good at this? Oh, you flatter me. Uh, I don't feel like I'm all that great at the combat yet. Uh, I like it a lot better than the combat in the original game. Like, the combat feels a lot more in-depth in this, and, like, you have a lot of interesting tools you can use in your fighting. I'm bad at it, in my opinion, right now. <laughs> but it's, 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 like, deep and interesting enough that, like, I want to get better at it. It's cool. Like, it's like this entire little mini-action game. That you can just like partake in, in this platformer on top of all the cool platforming stuff. Uh, don't do those after beating the game because it throws everything at you. Okay, I need to save at least one of those for when I'm done the game. I need to save at least one of those. I need to save at least one of those. Ooh, that's exciting. <laughs> Love watching how you do combat. It's really a testament to game preferences. You preferred using the side blast, but I prefer the melee. Listen, I I I feel like it's safe to say if anyone's been watching my streams for long enough, they know how I am. I'm a punch girl for life. I love getting in close and decking someone out. Uh, in 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 in, in games, not not unreal, not unreal. I don't I don't go around punching people in real life. <laughs> in case that wasn't obvious. <laughs> Mom, you threw a rock at me. It was a pine cone, you baby. Ow! <laughs> that was a rock. I'm warning you. <laughs> Punch girls forever. Punch girls for life. I don't think I have what it takes to get into boxing dire sloth, but you do flatter me, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Now we gotta find bees. You know so. Nothing around here. I think the entrance to the forgetful forest is somewhere here in the questionable area. Let's put That's this enough of that for now. Just focus on bees. Oh, there's a target up there, huh? Well, time to get sidetracked again. <laughs> give me the bounce, give me the bounce. What about claw girls who do sometimes also punch? Listen, who am I to deny a woman her melee weapon of choice? Oh, yeah, I did go into the diner earlier. It was wonderful. <laughs> I adore Sam. I think she's like my favorite of the interns so far. Welcome to the 
Is that that sounds that sounds familiar oh whoop I, I fell I, I beeped it is is that Jack Black I know Jack Black does other voices in this game but <laughs> I thought it might have been him <laughs> if it's not actually him that is an extremely Jack Black esque delivery and I do mean that as a compliment. Oh, wall jump, wall jump. There we go. And now I just wait so patiently. There we go. Never grab this before it hurts somebody. Nice. Whee. Oh, I was hoping I could grab onto. Oh yeah, fall damage. I was hoping I could grab on to uh, the top of that sign there, but oh well. What rank am I? Uh, oh, wait, I'm rank 30. That means I can get Dark Thoughts in three more levels. Okay, well, I can get that soon. And that's exciting. Is there anything else in here? And there's that goodie over there, but we can't go there yet. What's that? No, it is minute. <laughs> oh god. This one kind of looks like a brain. I was kind of hoping Slap from the Jukebox would change the music. Would have been fun. You can disable fall damage? Ah, I'm fine with it all. I just keep forgetting it's a thing, is all. Wait, that was actually a break. That was that was actually a the the thank you Wetero Art for the six month resub. I appreciate it. That was actually a breakable wall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well, good news to everyone uh, looking for how to get collectibles in this area. Uh, that's breakable. <laughs> oh God, this is. This is just gonna have me looking through the entire rest of the game looking for walls to break. <laughs> Remember the first stream on the Lobato level where I kept trying to smash the one dentist poster you have to burn before I had burning abilities unlocked? Remember that? Okay, let's see if there are any straight thoughts around here. Must be up there about go around. The helmet does make good sounds. Just a little farther. We're so close, we're so close. Thoughts. Straight thoughts. Oh, big gravel. <laughs> God, the grappling in this game feels so good. I'm going to keep saying that over the however many streams we do with this game, but What's that? You want to give me a new rank? Okay, side challenge. The sound effects and like the visuals of it and just like how snappy the movement feels. God, the grapple is so good. This is like I I love grapple mechanics in games. I think this is maybe one of the best ones uh, in a game I've played in a while. Oh yeah, we're not in a brain right now. We're just outside the, uh, the, 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 the HQ. You can use grapple and combat to pull enemies to you. Yeah, I know. I've been doing that. It's one of my favorite you don't mechanics. Like that for too long. It's good. <laughs> Let's 
go look for bees again. Have I played It's Take It Takes Two yet? Uh, I have not. That's, uh, which one is that again? Was that the one that was made by, um, the people that did, uh, the, the game about the two guys that bust out of jail? Trying to get somebody smart. Am I doing Kitty the, for the pose bits? right? I'm trying to place my fingers on my temple like my son does, but... Huh. He should be the one imitating you, sir. Is that a pine cone or a beehive? Oh, no. I don't want to hurt any people. Dad? Hi, son. Think I'm getting any better at this? I'll let you get back to practicing. Okay, yes, just to yes. say hi bye. I think I'm almost there. Am I doing the pose right? Hey Norma, what are you doing out here with my dad? Oh, I'm sorry, Raz. Is this making you jealous? Did your dad not spend much time with you when you were growing up? No. I mean, yes. I mean, the average amount. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Warning? Children under three must be tethered to an adult to prevent floataways? Warning? Children under three must be tethered to an adult to prevent floataways. I just read that. Warning? Children under three must I love be the delivery there on warning. Floataways. Let's check out the funicular. I don't know what a funicular is. I think it's not running right now for some reason. Yep. I think I know why. I think I know why. I think it's from Gears. Oh, whoops. Come back. Ah, multiple Gears, it looks like. Oh, no, come back! Come back! Come back! I made a mistake! There's another one there. Okay. Bits. Looks like there's just one more part to find. This. Oh. Ha! That ought to put a little more fun in that funicular. Great. I love that having fun. Fun is just one of the things I love about funiculars. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! Here we go. Whee! Putin is having so much fun on his funicular. Funicular! Skull! Skull! Human skull! Real human skull! Okay, the funicular is slow, but I think this guy is overstating. <laughs> I forgot that was part of the... That was part of the scavenger hunt. <laughs> human skull. For reasons I won't go into right now. We found more human skulls on the grounds than we prefer. Mothboy, Benry, Edgeware, and Amsterquin. Please enjoy your new skulls. Well, I mean, in their defense, they're not called fasting. <laughs> yep. Whee! Here we go! Whee! <laughs> there we go! Also, you're at the party. Enjoy your nope. new skull. This is my stop. Up we go! My funicular! Raz is having an unstoppable amount of fun. Why ride a funicular down a hill that I could easily descend by simply rolling? You're not going down, you're going up. I Because I know the funicular joy has never touched their heart. <laughs> Dare I ride all the way down? You're, you're going up! <laughs> That's really good dialogue. Yes, There's goodies in here. What was I doing out here again? Oh, right. Compton needs a bee from the forgetful forest. Got a side card. Nice. How do you see me? Ah. <laughs> hey, Frazy. I can't believe Mom forgave you so easily. Can we talk about you being psychic now? Ugh, look, Raz. 
I know we played all kinds of weird brain games when we were kids, but I'm not ready to break mom and dad's hearts like you did, okay? Dion's being a total jerk to me. What a newsflash. What else? Is the sky also blue? How long does the family plan to stay out here? Just until the circus makes enough dough to pay for the trip home. Why don't you stay here with me? And do what? Join the intern program. That sounds humiliating. It is, <laughs> but it builds character. I think. Oh, no. I'll, uh, consider it. Maybe I'll check the place out for a while. If we can win over Mom, that is. Hey, where's Sugar Cube? You mean my beautiful tiny horse? The one you kidnapped? Oh, no. She's with friends. She asked that I not tell you her location. <laughs> no, she didn't. Don't tell me about my horse, Pooter. Bye, Frazy. Later, traitor. I like Frazy. Uh, I think it's neat that, you know, the two, the two psychic siblings had... <laughs> Uh, their own sort of ways of working through, uh, you know, being who they are, you know, dealing with the kind of family they have. That's, that's interesting. She also reminds me a lot of my own big sister in a lot of ways. Oh no, birds. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? Can I pet the birds? The bird flies away. Uh oh. Like to think Frazy has zoolingualism, that's why she's so close to Sugar Cube. Oh, that's a cute idea. Please, I want to pet the bird. I just want to pet the bird. Yeah, uh, in Psychonauts 1, uh, the reason they keep bringing up the tiny horse, the world's tiniest horse that Raz stole, uh, is there's a vault you can get in Psychonauts 1. Uh, and it shows Raz, you know, running away from the circus. And specifically, one of the pages shows him doing it on the world's tiniest horse. And it's it's deeply funny to me. I don't remember if I got that vault uh, on stream, but I definitely got it on my own time. <laughs> Questionable quartz? Some people claim that the mysterious purple rubies of the questionable area actually speak to them. Could this whispering rock be a byproduct of the questionable area's power vortex? Or was it brought here by the Sasclops from its home planet? This is such a misunderstanding of Cytanium, I can't even bear to read it. This is such a misunderstanding of Cytanium, I can't even bear to read it. The whispering rock, wink wink. <laughs> this Cytanium is fake. This Citanium is fake. Of course they have fake Citanium here. <laughs> God. <laughs> Some ropes can be cut aside last. Oh. Oh. Yippee! I'll take that card. I don't even think that's quartz painted purple. I'm pretty sure this is like, uh, like just made of like glass or plastic, and they've got like a, a like a light inside of it. Yep. Like that's that's totally not even like any sort of mineral. Look, it's ropes. We can use them to help with the this holes. Card lying around. That's the joke. Did you, did you like it? Can can you laugh now, please? <laughs> okay, I'll admit. <laughs> I've never thought to go Can you laugh now please? And now I'm just <laughs> Now I'm making myself laugh <laughs> Far fetched falls? Notice anything special about this water? Fall. Look closely. It's flowing upside down. Far-fetched facts? Over 70,000 gallons of water flow up and over the falls every day. The water in the falls is slightly carbonated. Unlike the upside-down waterfall down on the highway, this one's not fake. Fish found in the falls have four stomachs and can perform simple math. 
No one between the ages of 27 and 32 has ever drowned in these waters. I find all these facts questionable. It's a frighteningly specific age range. Hmm. I'm not fast enough. Okay, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Any second. Any second now. Watch, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be so great, and everyone's gonna be so impressed by my abilities. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna drink. We're gonna drink? We're gonna do that again. Do that again. Drink carbonated lake water. Even if you are being ironic. No, not yet. Let's wait. Okay. Oh, that set me back. a valuable lesson here today. <laughs> oh, what a time for the double fine again to be here. Hello! <laughs> I like your game. I think I just set the main character flying into space never to return. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna do that again because it's funny. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing hidden behind the waterfall, it looks like. But, um... You ever get so scared of drowning, you stand on something that isn't there? I have. <laughs> oh, there is something behind it! Oh. Go look for bees instead, actually. Legit easier way to get in there using a path. Okay, I can always come back to it some other time. Right now I should probably be looking for bees. Hey, uh, this part of the woods is giving me the eebie-jeebies for some reason. Oh, Jill Jake, thanks for giving that gift's about to double fine. That's very generous of you. Warning? The Forgetful Forest is not part of the Questionable Area Recreation Center. And is not covered by our insurance policy? Warning, the Forgetful Forest is not part of the Questionable Area Recreation Center and is not covered by our insurance policy? This sounds like the best <laughs> attraction in the Questionable Area to me. Ah, uh, thank you, Sophie Steak, for the raid. I hope you had yourself a wonderful stream today. I'm gonna go look for bees now. Air trap. <laughs> ah! ah, crud, it's you. I thought I finally caught a critter. Hi, Lizzie. Why are you hunting? Aren't they feeding you? I'm interning with Compton Bull. He sent me out here to catch him some animals. I really don't know if you should be bringing animals to Agent Bull. His grandson is a friend of mine, but that family can be a little bit rough on animals. Oh? And you've never side-blasted a squirrel, nature boy? Uh, maybe a couple. Uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> anyway, it's no use. I'd have to go deeper into the forgetful forest for any really good animals. And there's no way I'm going in there. Why? Telekinetic bears? <gasps> Has nobody told you? About the green needle witch who haunts these woods? She sounds fun. Her mother was a banshee, and her father... 
was a porcupine. Let me guess. She hates children and kills them on sight. No, she loves children. She follows them through the forest. And when she catches them, she gives them a big hug. That doesn't sound so... Impaling them on her needles. Filling them with holes. Okay, if you could just let me down now. Children, beware. She's there. She's there. The Green Needle Witch has waited. She wants a hug. Don't dare. Don't dare. Or soon you'll be perforated. <laughs> I'm getting a strong psychic sense that Lizzie and Norma are sisters. <laughs> Sibling detection is one of the less celebrated tools in the Psychonauts playbook. The kind they don't get badges for. Ten-year-olds beware. You're in for a scare. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It's time to get scared. <laughs> Those hurt. They don't hurt you. Okay. I do like that this is using um the 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 nighttime camp theme from Psychonauts One. Yep. I've really really liked um all of the like sort of like reuses of musical themes from the first game that have that I've heard so far. I was about to say scene, but you don't really see music, do you? At least I don't. There, it was just fun. That's a beehive. That's a beehive. Oh, or like a big chunk of amber or something. No, that's bees. Oh my god, look at them! Oh my god, look at them! It's the perfect animal. Double fine, you've done it. You've created the perfect animal. Oh. Oh, they're so cute. Oh. Looks like a great place to get those bees for Compton. Bees. <laughs> Thank you, Butler Kitty, for the bits. How'd you get bees? We've got the jar. Compton wants me to bring back a bee this thing, that's all it says. Okay, we can maybe try telekinesis. Can't grab a bee. <laughs> Thank you, Twilight Prince. He's a bit sure on disorienting. I could, like, try smoking them out. No. In retrospect, I suppose my idea of smoking them out was trying to set them on fire, which is maybe not great. Uh, so I'm maybe glad that it didn't work. Oh, it's just a... It's it's just a button prompt. Okay, I was overthinking it. <laughs> Thank you, Duke of Hammer, for the 16-month resub. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm just gonna take one of you on a little trip to see... Oh, it's cute! Swipe! Ooh, I got three. Even better. Uh-oh. Hopefully that's okay. Not so fast. Lizzie? That's a hand of bees. Oh, that's a person made of bees. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. Dang it, Pooter. I just got that thing set again. Oh, no, everyone's Wait, calling him Pooter. Witch. Where? Th that way! That way! Ugh, you poor city kid. Do yourself a favor and stay indoors where it's safe. Phew! Okay. Better get these bees back to Compton so we can find his friend. Phew! And so I can get that senior league pass. What happens if we try and go back? wonder what's back here. What happens if we try and go back? What happens if we immediately try and go back, though? Also, yeah, Lizzie calling him a city kid is extremely funny. Well, the bees seem okay. Oh, you just, like, wait, you just go that way. What am I doing out here again? Huh. Ominous. Guess they really are the woods of forgetfulness. The forgetful forest. That's the name. I forgot what the name was. It's working. It's taking effect. We need to go. We need to go right now. Right now, immediately, we need to go. And we're never going back. Nope. Uh-uh. <laughs> Oh, I just noticed this is called Lumber Stack. That's cute. Go back where? What do you mean? Smile. Where was the Autobahn again? Was it around here? I think it was around here. Right? That's the radio. There's something on top of the surface. I just realized. Can we climb these ropes? We can. Okay. It's probably a completely different way to get up here, but I'm going to try all the absolutely dumb ideas I have for getting up here first. <laughs> Wall jumps, come on. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Uh, now. Rabbit squirrels! Ow. Stupid forest. This is like absolutely an awful idea, but I'm committed. I'm probably gonna keep rolling off here just because of the way the ball works, but also, what if? I can perch myself perfectly precariously upon this thing. <laughs> Perhaps not. Perhaps not. Unless. Unless. Uh, Waste of time. Uh, please look forward to my 24 hour stream incentive where I uh, uh, try for 24 hours to jump up on this with the ball. And, uh, if I manage to do it, I just end the stream, I guess. Psychic flourishes! I'm close, I'm close, I'm close, I'm close, you have to believe me. Uh, pomade is made of palm bread, it's the, the, the white bread you get in Canada. Uh, it probably doesn't help that this is, like, rounded. Uh, and so is the ball. However! Stupid forest! However... Sure. Fresh inspiration. I shouldn't have hit the the stick that much. I I did it, and then I hit the stick too much. I doubted myself. Yep. 
I mean, I did it, so, uh... Stream's over. I'm, I'm joking, of course. <laughs> Someone's clearly not the way up there. <laughs> Got up. Wait, we can climb up these, can't we? I. No. It helps if I turn the direction I want to go in. No, no. Nope. There we go. Oh, that's a fun little spin around. Yep. Whee! A little flourish. Oh, right, the graphic points. Perhaps? No, we definitely can't get that far. Although... Oh, there's... there's... There were vines there. And also I found the automatic. <laughs> fully convinced of my awesome bad idea that I forgot right in front of me, you know. <laughs> the easy answer. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you did that too? Good, I'm vindicated now. You're up there, you're up there. I can hear you. Welcome to my mind. I mean, yeah, my my awful no good theory bad idea did lead me to getting some collectibles. So, who's to say if it's bad, actually? Down. This is Morris Martinez, and you're listening to KLOB. I don't think I'm gonna tell anybody. Getting records for all you interns. Our turns, his turns, her turns, and their turns. Now it's my turns. I just want to dance with you. I need my me time. Later, bud. <laughs> Is there anything else I can grab at while I'm up here? Listen, sometimes you just need your own time, you know? It's important, it's healthy. Oh, there is... A bouncy bit on this tree here, uh, I'm seeing. And so if I could get up there, it would bounce me up here so that I could get the side challenge marker. I see. Ah, ah, yes. <laughs> it brings me joy every time it does. Oh, no, I didn't want to jump off. There we go, there we go. And so, at long last, I found it. The easier method. The method that doesn't involve trying to balance on that, that post there. <laughs> Who would have thought? Can I pet this bird? Can I pet this bird? No. I also do like everyone in chat joining in whenever Rez has the split second scream. It's fun. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so you can't climb up there. That's okay. Uh, but, uh, good news, everyone. Now, I, when you find dark thoughts in a mental world, you'll be able to connect to them to reach previously untraversable areas. No, I love power. I was saving up. I was saving up for this one. <laughs> I was waiting to get big power. <laughs> 
let's see, that's what, two two of my powers fully upgraded so far? And then I've got this at three, this at three, and a couple at two. I'm getting abilities. Raz is getting abilities, and it's awesome. He's feeling so healthy with his new powers. <laughs> Another split second of a different... Uh Family zone. Uh, there's drowning. I suppose that's kind of new. Not a good kind of new, but you know, they don't always have to be. <laughs> yeah, I feel like uh, having maxed out. Um, <laughs> Uh, like, mental connection, uh, and almost maxed out pyrokinesis says a lot about how I play this game. <laughs> Looks like nothing new here. Uh -oh. Hey, Mom. Hmm. Oh, yes, Rasputin? Okay, I'm going to go practice my acrobatics. Ah. Okay, bye. Uh, I can't wait to get the, the, the très bon fire. Which I guess... The pun makes a little bit less sense, uh, if you, like, say it in the French way, but, like, I don't care. It's fun. It's a fun joke to me. <laughs> I'm not the fucking French police. Wait, no, the, the, the Autobahn. I wanted to use the Autobahn. Right. That's, that's why I came here in the first place before I got distracted by my very good idea. I wanted the Autobahn. <laughs> okay, let's go to... It's like a isolation chamber. It's a pretty good fire, is the thing. Hi. Hi. God, giving me the camera was a bad idea. I'm just gonna be doing that for the whole game now. I wonder if I can zoom in uh, through like this to get a better look at my friend Compton Ghoul. Where'd the rat go? Oh, don't fall. Do not, do not, do not fall there. Are, buddy, I saw you running around on the floor. Hi, hi, hi. There was alcohol where the rat was sitting. The rat's of age, he can do whatever he wants. He's an adult. I'm not his boss. Agent Fool, I got some visitors here who are really excited to. Ah, I said one. I only needed one B. Oh no. Yeah, I thought this was gonna happen. Poor guy. Shoo, shoo, get out of here. I got extra. They seem friendly. Oh no, don't all talk at once, please. I oh. can't take it. I can't. It's too much. Too much. Oh no, don't explode. And don't explode me. We have given Compton the bees. We have to see them now. Let's see. Uh, Compton isn't handling all these bees very well, and certainly won't be handling handing over that card anytime soon. I should hop in his mind and see if I can help him deal with the chaos of life a little better. Agent Bull? Ah! What's wrong? Too many voices. Too many everything. Want me to kill those bees? No. Like with fire, maybe. It's totally not a problem. Rez! Don't hurt them. Would you mind if I made a quick and very quiet, uh, wellness check inside your mind? Ah. Uh. Scream once for yes, I may enter your mind, and twice for no. Ah. Uh. Great. Out of my way, bees. In we go!
what do you know? We are doing a level today and not just collectibles. No, not yet. I'm not ready. Cassie's not here. Not ready for what? Dinner. Uh-oh. Let me guess. We're on the menu? No. Worse. Judgment. Huh? Court a judge. is in session. Please remain standing. If you're able. Okay. Oh, that's a boss. Burn you? Ooh, ow. Never touch a <laughs> Fun. Pop about now. Uh, uh snack? Pops, delicious and packed full of mental energy. Ah! Let's take a five minute recess. Well, good night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you've made a mistake, bud. Captain? Anything but this. It's time for... Ram it down! Oh, no. What face could be worse than this? A game show? Tin Can Zanotto. I'm your host, Tin Can Zanotto. The puppets are very cute. We'll watch one lucky contestant prepare three increasingly complicated dishes in an attempt to please our celebrity judges. Impossible! He'll never do it. He's nothing without Cassie. Oh. <laughs> and he's the nice one. <laughs> well, let's get to our first dish. A tragic delicacy from a troubled nation. A Grulovian drowned egg. Ooh. First, our contestant will have to find a very outspoken egg. Ooh, me. Pick me! Boil it in hot water. I'm all fired up and ready to go. Prepare it with an <laughs> unruly onion. He said my name! That's been sliced into pieces. Just call me Pork Chopper. Put them both together on a plate and see if the judges can bear two. Oh, that screenshot took too late. Finish your dish before the clock runs out, and you'll win valuable prizes from the, the mystery, mystery box. box. <gasps> what do you say? Think you're up to the challenge? Sounds easy. We got this. Right, partner? Partner? Yeah, what was I expecting? Poor Compton, he just wants a- Oh, time limit! Okay, uh, noted. We need an egg, we need an egg. First tag. All right, uh, here's an egg. Has the egg. <gasps> it's happening! <laughs> Let's Definitely see if he remembers what to do with it. Right off you. I that's oh, right, there's steam coming out here. The egg is gone! I've, we've lost the egg! Repeat, we have lost the egg! <laughs> Good news, we found an egg. Look out for steam. Good, 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 okay. Egg dropped! So... Let's go and get Why our onion. Don't just sit there resting on your boils. We've got other ingredients to prepare. Did I get the tag for you? Yep. This hat no, I didn't. I thought I did for some reason. Uh, onion, where's an onion? Uh, there's an onion. Oh. Onion acquired. Right. You won't be sorry. We got the chocolate. Let's see if he makes the cut. Slice me up, I dare ya! All right, here you go, bud.
I assume we gotta yank that. And then slam down there. All the pork chops are just normal. Okay. Here we go! We have to do that again. No, we already did. Okay. Well, here's the vault. I was only trying to help. Oh no. Oh, I think I know where this is going. Compton. Oh no. Oh, that's Ford Crawler at the end, isn't it? Poor Compton. <clears throat> In brighter news, we have at long last found it. Uh, this is the Figgy Piggy we've been hearing about since the first game. And he's boiled the egg! You're shocked. Maybe this chef is going to go the distance. Let's see what he does while that egg is boiling. Okay, now what do we do? Oh, feeling this more than I thought I would. <laughs> oh, we have to bring them over here. I see, I see. Onion. I feel like this is the real oh, that hurts. Okay. Let's play that ingredient, chef. I didn't realize I also had to play them like this. That's one. Get the goodies, thank you. Chef, you need an egg. And it's me. Sure is. Boil the egg. We make a great team! Boil the egg! Get it to the plate! Oh, we're definitely gonna have to come back here when the time limits are off. He's assembled all his ingredients. If Chef would just hit that button, we can begin the presentation! Alright, here we go! Did we make it? I... I'm not sure. We'll... Find out, I suppose. Breathe. I can't do. Can I do it on you guys? Tin can. Probably also a tin can on. Yeah, I reckon that's on all of them. Okay. That's, that's Aspic. So, what we did was, we took an egg. Boring. And we popped it into the water. Pedestrian! Uh, then, uh, then Chef had the idea to uh, withhold the salt at just the right moment. To create a sense of, uh, longing within the yolk, if you will. You what? We think it really improves the nose feel of the composition. Hmm, compelling. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hmm, surprisingly acceptable. That's good, right? <laughs> and that's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box. Wow. Well, don't just stand there resting on your laurels. That one was a gimme. Let's see how you do on your next dish. Shoo! 
Congratulations. You did it. How does it feel? Um, feels pretty good. Fantastic. Well, get ready, because it's time for your next dish, right after this commercial message. God, they're made of solid gold. <laughs> Raz, you're in the way of the cameras. Come on, bud. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, let's get our calcuses. Still gotta get the timing right out of those little ones. Time for justice! My baby! <laughs> Away from that. Let me heal you here, though. Uh, burn you. Well, I can use the grapple to get back in. Ooh, nice! Cross examine, counselor. Ancient pool. An important thing to do when you're feeling overwhelmed is to take breaks. So before I push that button and start the next dish, let's take a breather, okay? Good idea. Okay, glider. <sighs> yep. Yeah, the, the way this level is like structured and staged out, it feels like really appropriate uh, for, you know, representing like an anxiety attack and sensory overload and stuff like that. All the, like, the, like, horrible honking brass noises of the instruments, the lights, the sounds, the crowd cheering and chanting, everyone constantly judging you for your actions. It's good feeding. That... Oh. I was about to say, that's mean. How do you get that? Well, here's how. First you get this one. Right. But if I'm gonna help Agent Wu, I'd better hit that suitcase tag. I'd better That's hit that I suitcase do. tag. Don't touch it, it's bad to touch it. Whoop, no, go back. Right, so we glide here. I didn't I missed it, but I know what to do. Uh, there we go. Uh, that's for the duffel bag. Anything else around the specific bit? Well, I wonder what guy needs that. Who's to say, really? You like this funny hippo? You know where the purse tag is? Oh, right, we can grapple these now. Little bits of therapy stuff that Raz gives out sometimes kind of lines up with what he said when he was reading books about how to deal with nightmares in the first game. Want to believe this 10 year old has been reading this stuff about canceling? Yeah, that seems like very in character for Raz, honestly. Also, man, I love the looks of these. Also, yeah, it was literally just earlier today when, <laughs> when Raz was unable to use these. Oh, I like this bit of the soundtrack. That's fun. Now it's a delicious nugget for me. Oh, no, no, no. Let's get the L. Get the 
healthy. There's this guy here. Let's get all these ones that are up here first. Oh, bounce pad. That's a funny little egg. Hello. Open up. Compton on his own. Oh, he was... The, the person he was talking about was a beekeep. Wait. Wait, she's shaped exactly like the... Like, like the, like the witch. And also seems to have bee abilities. Hmm. I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure it's a fun coincidence. Oh no. He started feeling even more overwhelmed after she left. Poor Compton. Uh, I want the frying pan. There we go. Oh, I'm making a mistake. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> I made it down perfectly with no issue, and then getting back up, I'm just goofing it. Oh wait, you can probably just. I was ready to hit that next button and start the next round. Go over there with the ball and not get affected by the little spike he gets. Anything back here? Now we're talking. I need the steamer truck tag for this guy. Fuck, I thought I had the tag. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be so funny taking so long to get that picture and just be like, yeah, nice, got him. I never had the steamer trunk tag. <laughs> Oops. Slide over this way and get whatever. Back up here, with the spatula. My hoover is snow. Oh, well, yeah, guns. Don't get guns. Oh, that's a faster way to do Hello, goat crawler. Oh, come on, come on. Sound. That was almost awesome. That was almost awesome. Anything down here? I know there's a crying guy around here somewhere. Oh, I hear it coming in my right ear. There you go. Do I have your tag? This hat box Not yet. Hat okay. box tag. Hat box. I'm so bad at remembering which tags I have. I think I hear some emotional baggage. I'm pretty sure we have the purse, though. <laughs> Luggage can be kind of like a guy. Sometimes our own, like, emotional issues that are weighing us down, sometimes that's like a guy. A very different kind of guy, but... I do like the shape of this frog. Oh? I see you! I see you up there! Tantalizing me! A suitcase tag. Gotcha! Down I go! <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I couldn't have done that better if I planned it! There we go, and now we got oh, the nugget. nugget now, okay? now you're my little nugget. Oh, I could have grappled on here to get to that easier, couldn't I? 
you know, in retrospect. Uh, hindsight is 20 million or whatever they say. I don't know about that one. I think I'm having fun getting goodies. <laughs> oh, okay. So that still hurts you when you're on the ball. Okay. I thought that would have counted as Kaiser DK uh, roll over. Bounce! Roll the noodles, we get the sausage. Yep. Put these bits down here. Is there anything because this is a downward slope. The fiends, they knew I was going to try doing that and they made it so I couldn't. They're onto my tricks. They were onto my tricks during development. No! But what about this side? But what about this side? What about Oops. this? No. But what about this side? There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! There's probably not even anything up here, but I feel good for getting here. Uh, nope, nope, that's a slope, that's a slope. Nice. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think anything I have can really make that jump. But. What if I... get on top of the pig. I wall jumped. That's not on top of the pig. Oh well. I'm satisfied. Uh... Oh, Creepy is absolutely the mole. Like, that's that's obvious. Like, clear as day, honestly. And you know, just because something in the story is like obvious doesn't mean it's necessarily bad. It just means you set up, like, uh, all of the puzzle pieces for the reader to, like, follow and figure out on their own. You know, that just means to trust the reader to to be smart enough to figure these things out, and that means you, you had effective writing. Oh, aha! Here's the hat box tag. to the wrong rail. Uh, let's try that again. Oh, there's a guy over here. Yummy turnip in the audience. Anything over here? I think I might have checked here already. No, it's just a hole. Okay. Oh. How's our collectibles looking for this level so far? Let's see. Uh, Conference cook off. We've got uh, three of our four, and we've got the purse tag. I remember where the purse was, kind of. Just like. There we go. Creepy, 
grinding was not inspired by Skateboard and we all just love Shadow the Hedgehog. Fuck yeah. That's the good stuff you love to hear. <laughs> it was really cool uh, of Sega to invent rail grinding uh, back in... What was it? Early 2000s? 1990-something? I don't remember when Sonic Adventure was out. At some point. 2001. Thank you. Thank you, as always, my chat, for knowing more things than I do. Yep. Oh, don't, don't fall. Do not fall. Well, I'm a little bit burning, but I'm not falling, at least. Maybe I ought to just go back up the long way. Wait, did I check back here? Did I check for goodies back here? Did I check for any goodies back here? I'm falling. <laughs> Falling is kind of like a goodie, I suppose. But I'm trying to sniff out the last um, of the tags. Oh, eh, maybe I just can't find it yet. That's fine. Stop setting me on fire. There we go. Thank you. Shadow the Hedgehog is a wild game. I kind of want to play it someday, but also I'm very intimidated by its like three million possible endings. Even though it's kind of not the point of the game. Okay. We've got 40 out of 51. I reckon that's enough for now. Let's uh, let's do the slam down. See, Agent Bull, you can do it. Next one won't be so easy. You got that right. For your next dish, you'll be creating a strawberry jam croque madame. Ooh, la, la. That's an you'll interesting You'll need choice. to boil another egg. <laughs> Easy. Take some bread. I've already risen to the occasion. Slice it up. Bread's much nicer once it's been through the slicer. And fry it up on the griddle. I'm getting ready to rip it. Flip out! <laughs> What about the strawberry, huh? Hey! <laughs> Glad you asked. We'll need not just any strawberry, but a strawberry that's been... blended. Did someone call for patty puree? All right, monsieur. It's time to show us your best madame. I wonder which ingredient he'll select first. Egg. It'll be egg. I'm gonna select egg first. Hey! I hear you worked with my brother! My runny days are over! Walk in the kitchen, please. Especially with that. Alright, in we go. Let's go get a bread. Oh. Bread. Here you are. I'm lighter than I look, right? Right? Sure. So, far, so good. Now, let's go. Okay. Up on Adam, let's get Adam. The ingredient. Will he be able to pull back the pork chopper's action hoof? I hope so. That's all. Jeff is now clear of the chopping Stop button. It. Man, it's cold in here now that I'm sliced. Okay. Where there is. Right, the thing that I got burned on a lot. <laughs> that one. How could I forget it? <laughs> that doesn't smell nice. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Good job on that bread, Chef. Just don't forget. Whoops. Ah. So, um, there's... The way the TK works is... Also, yeah, clip it. That was really funny. <laughs> the way the TK works is you can either, like, tap the button, and then it'll, like, hold it, and if you want to throw it again, you tap it again. Or you can hold it down, uh, and then if you want to throw it, you let go. 
Uh, I meant to tap it, but I guess I held my finger on the button for just a little bit too long. Uh, <laughs> which is <laughs> deeply funny. <laughs> Hopefully I don't lose because of it. But if I do, at least it'll be really fucking funny. <laughs> Thank you, Mix Grim, for the 613 sub. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh man, I, yeah, I did. I feel like I did pretty good on the grill and everything. Uh, uh, let's see. Well, we gotta go chop more bread then. Okay, where? Are you? There you are. I did it again. Hurry up with that bread. I literally did it again after, you know, the whole ordeal where I explained why it happened and how I should avoid it. <laughs> we only have five more seconds. Ingredient in position. Now we must quickly grab the pork chopper's hook. Get out of there, kids. Those blades are sharp. Again. Thank you, Lines, for the eight months. Oh, I missed. There we go. Go ahead and fry me up. It's chilly in here. Okay. In you go. Let's get toasty. Job on that All right. Bread, Chef. Just don't forget cool, cool, cool. to plate it. Don't forget to plate it, by the way. Yep. If you forget to plate it, it's all over. So. Actually okay, that's one. Let's get our strawberry. Ah, you won't be disappointed. I hope you not. Know, I don't know why, but I just can't wait to be blended. That's really scary. Okay. Careful. I lost an arm in there once. Once it could taste human flesh. Well, it changed the relationship. Oh, I missed who that was. Thank you, Vazlot, for the seven months. I appreciate it. Like moving blades. Blades are sharp. What could possibly go wrong? Awesome! Okay, that takes a while. Uh, let's... Yep. Jump on this. I am going to enjoy an egg. Whee! Egg in. Three minutes left, oh my. Ah, we got this. We got this. I don't think there's any way I could monumentally ruin this. I mean, more than I already did previously. The cat blender is an inspired choice, I gotta say. Very cute. <laughs> Who would have thought a single strawberry would take so long to blend? Okay. Look up. You're coming with me. Oh, we can ball with this guy. Okay. Done it. All the ingredients are in. Croak, 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 croak. Did you get caught in a jam? Are you worried about croaking? Reveal the meal. Voila, croque madame. What do you have to say for yourself? We have uh, attempted to infuse this dish with um... curiosity and resilience. The more sensitive palates among you will also discern just a dash of regret. Bye. Bye. Slightly better than a mouth full of nails. <laughs> That's not all. By finishing within the 
time limit, you've opened the mystery box. Great! That's another little brain guy. Now, be gone! And bring us more food. Well, you two must be feeling great after producing such a quality product for our judges. And speaking of quality products, it's time for a word from one of our sponsors. I literally love being advertised too. Let's fucking go. Engage those products to me. It's bees! Part of a complete something! Hey! I wonder if, uh... This counts as, like, a different area of Compton's, uh... No, so there's that one half a mind in the other area. We've got the memory vaults, we got the nuggets of wisdom. We're missing one tag and nine uh, things. Let's see if there's a tag in here. Could fight these guys, or I could go looking for goodies. I could go looking for goodies. Attacking me, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Anything back here? Can I pick up the bees? No. But I can pick up these. Ha! <laughs> Two for one! I sentence you! Never touch a judge's gavel! Oh, right, something on fire. Gotcha. My power comes from justice, not that little mallet. Ah! <laughs> this is a court of law. God, the music changing is so funny. Thank you for helping me, young man. I don't know what I'd do without you. How would you feel about taking a little break before I push that button to start the next dish? That's just what the doctor ordered. Oh, there's some more I missed over here. There's a little pineapple a croissant. Oh. Yep. Oh, there's some other stuff I missed over here too. I wonder if these I just got added. Like some of these just, just get added. Listen, that's how you say it. It's croissant. How do you say it? Croissant? Croissant? Actually, I do kind of call it croissant as a joke sometimes, so. <laughs> I wonder what my mystery prize is. I should go get it. Red boomerang? Okay, that's an inspired choice. I can respect that. That's just the dark thoughts. Okay. I thought I saw a tag floating around. I feel like I'm missing something. Hey, I have a mystery prize to Could it be up there? Is it possible to get up there? Well, now I just want to try getting up there for the sake of it. Nope, okay, no bad idea, bad idea. Well, I only got a little bit hurt, so maybe it was a great idea, actually. Welcome under El Hippo. Let's pick up my mystery oh, prize. I wonder what my mystery prize is. I should go get it. Yeah, I wonder what it could be. I guess we'll never know. Mispronouncing a French word in Quebec oh. activates the PvP mode? Good lord, does it ever. I know how that can be! <laughs> what if I spent another two hours uh, looking for 
a single emotional baggage tag. What if I did that? <laughs> Quebec isn't real. I have some startling news for you. I have some news that might shock you to your core. Uh, so fasten your seat and hold on to your butthole. Almost ready to hit that next button to start the next round. Almost ready. Almost ready. There's a footprint. There's a couple over there. Oh, so there is one on, on top there now. I went there early before it spawned one in. You go to Montreal for the weekend? Hey, hell yeah! I hope you have fun! It's a very nice place to visit. I feel different about living there, but I think it's a wonderful place to visit. When can you release your butthole? That's gross. Don't ever talk to me again. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Grab this meat. Okay, that's, 50, that's 49. Which makes this 50, which means... Jump up here. Big money. No whammies. That's it. I think I've collected every figment in this mine. So that's all the figments. Uh... Where the fuck is the tag? <laughs> I'm a fool. I can't find it. I suppose I can always just come back some other time. And, like, not get stabbed. And, and not get stabbed. You know, we might just get through this. Oh, I hope I didn't just jinx it. Me too, because it's time for our third and final dish. A special Break tag that sometimes breaks? Diner. Oh, no. It's the Honey Pepper Pancake Stacker. You'll need another egg. Egg. We're old friends. He boiled my dad and grandfather. Oh, this time that egg needs to fry. Then I'm your guy. Next, you'll need a boar. I'm just a pig, but trust me, I'm game. Get it? I get Whatever, it. as long <laughs> as that pig gets sliced. That's a little sick, man. Egg, fry. <laughs> Wait, I got a bowl of double shift? To give our pancake stack that signature beehive look, you're going to be using an actual beehive. Woohoo, I'm all a buzz! I wish Cassie were here to handle those bees. But wait, there's more. The final touch of summery sweetness comes from a watermelon. It's about Tom! That's been chopped! Sure, I guess. Uh, kinda still thinking about that pig, though. And then <laughs> blood! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Looks like I'm the big finish. No pressure, but this is Ford Cruller's favorite dish. Ooh. To mess this up would be an insult to the very heart of the Psychonauts. Yeah. So, chefs, better get cooking. Okay. Uh, whoo, we got a short time limit. Okay. Uh, we Almost need to... I just need to focus a little longer. Wrong. I need to grab. Uh... Okay, so, uh, cut you up. But you need to slice it before. Right, I can ball doing this. I can go faster. So far, so good. But will he remember to pull back the action hook? Okay. Got it! Quick! Chef! Come over here, Melon! Let's bring you to. The lender. Oop, okay, that's that's wall jump stickies. Okay. Okay. In you go. Yep. 
pound that, right? Uh, on our way out, that's a little bit of damage, I'll take it. Uh, we need to chop up a pig. Come on, let's get this over with. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Lady, is that you? Oh no. This is not weird. Yay! Yay! That wasn't so bad. <laughs> oh god. No kidding? Well, say hi to your dad for us. Okay, so I can use all my other powers while I'm TK dragging these guys, which means I can go a little faster on this than I thought. Is that honey pepper ball bacon I smell? Get you cooked Not up. Yet. I do that too early. All this done. Now, All done. Have to remember where the serving plate is. I hope so, because I'm running there right now. Three minutes left, oh my. There we go. I forgot the beehive. Shit. No! No! Come back! Come back! Come back! Come back! It's fine. Ignore his conscience and boil that beehive. What do you mean ignore my conscience? Is concerned about destroying precious pollen. Oh, I can feel it's helping my lower back already. Great. Okay. That's gonna take a while. Uh, shit. Let's get, uh, an egg. <laughs> Thank you, I could work uh, Ghost Dunk. With that egg, I'm telling you. For the reset. Appreciate it. Careful with that. Okay. Ooh, I'm getting a little burning, though. I'm gonna pretend I dunked that in there, like... On purpose. With my skill. Well, what are you done. for? It's serving time! Egg done. Let's go get our watch from Malone. Get moving! I'm moving, I'm moving. Okay. Watermelon. Okay, we have just enough time. I'm, I'm a genius. I'm actually a hero for this. Uh, and I've never done anything wrong in my life. And I've never made a mistake. And I've never caused myself any sort of undue stress or pressure. Well, for better or worse, it looks like the dish is assembled. Just push the button. Just push the button. Lumber stack! Lumber stack! Lumber stack! Have I mentioned that when prepared stack, improperly, the honey stack, pepper pancake stack, can produce an interesting byproduct? No, I didn't lumber mention the possibility of a deadly stack, swarm of killer bees. A what? Ah, no. Stack, Sorry, what? Let's see what we got. Reveal! The meal! Well, I sure hope I got it right. That watermelon had a butthole. Is that the tallest stack you could manage? It's taller than it looks. Because <laughs> we put the literal height of the horizontality of the flavor profile, if you will. He's on to something. <laughs> Moderately pleasant. Pumping my fucking fist, hell yeah! <laughs> and that's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box! I sure hope it's the one tag I'm missing. Well, Chef, it uh, what? looks like oh. you've won over not just our judges, but oh, okay. also our audience. How do you feel? I, uh, well, I, I, I couldn't have done it without this young man here. <laughs> God. No way! You can totally do this on your own now, Agent Bull. No, don't say that. That's great to hear. Because it's time for what, audience? Double down! No! 
That's right. It's time to double down. Chef will be cooking alone in our isolation station, completely dependent on his sous chef to gather the ingredients he needs for the final three dishes. Uh-oh. Don't worry, Agent Pool. I'll get you all the ingredients you need. What do you think, judges? Ready for another course? No problem. We're... Professional. Uh, we might have to uh, make a little room. Okay, first dish is vegetable medley. Ingredients on the board. I'm getting out of here before things get messy. Possibly overserved. Okay. What? Oh God! Quickly, sort through that. And find me. Perfect my choice. But is it too late? Oh, shut down the onion. Mm. Seven eight, please. I literally love an egg right now. Oh, I don't like it in here. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna sit here on this opened up can of sardines. <laughs> Cassie would say, we'll just take this one vegetable. Oh, these break, okay. Look out. Noted. <laughs> Let's get some help. Back. Get that guy. Oh, no, it's good. Please tell me this batch has the ingredient. Egg, egg, egg. egg. I am going to enjoy an egg. Hurry now. Oh, excellent. Quick, I need a strawberry for this egg. Why are you touching that regurgitated matter? It's not because you and it must be unthinkably warm. Oh, I don't want to think about the warmth of it. I truly don't, bud. Cram <laughs> attack. for clearing some space for me! Oh, I'm going to see that. I'm going to close oh, my eyes. Oh, 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 I, I wouldn't touch more. that. Oh, here we go! Wrong. Oh, that was... Oh, that's the final ingredient. Now I just... I eat this dish all by myself. Make a little room for me. I got an achievement for setting all those enemies on fire, I think. That's fun. Oh, hi. You're still here. Well, see you later, bud. He did it! We did it. Oh, I wanted to take a picture of the snacks. In the double down round, the chef's assistant must serve the dish to the judges. He said I just got a picture of that guy's torso. has a passion for service. Dinner time. <laughs> oh, it looks like our judge liked that dish. Perhaps a little too much. Is that oh, how that it works? Looks like someone's ready to get back in the mix. Oh. Uh, it's gonna be messy. I'm out of here. Second dish is royal borscht. Good luck. Now there's a fun shark here. I do like that that's just, uh, like, Compton's hands puppeting the puppets. What are those disgusting ones? I told the key to a victory lap. Ooh, looks like he's Red. got a good one. Relative speaking. Nice. Gotta clean up the TV here for some lucky Hey! I can roll the ball over this stuff, I just realized. Huh. I can just clean things up this way, huh? The ingredients are so nice, he's using them twice. Mixer. You can do this, Compton. Just clear your mind. All right. Show me the goods. Show me the goods. Mm. I should be using the rolling ball roll. Just in general. Mm. Oh. 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 
more ingredients. And that finally picked a, a slight whiff of vomit on this one, but I'm <laughs> covering up with spice. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea there, bud! Egg, an egg. <laughs> Why are you touching that regurgitated matter? It can't be good for you, and it must be done with the Charging. This isn't what I need. You need to serve. Perfect. Oh, yes, I'll take it from here. Brace yourself for a hastily prepared dinner down there. You stun you. Oh, they're all done. Look, ladies and gentlemen, it looks incredible. But here the judges say it's inedible. Serve it before it gets up and walks away. Oh, the dishes are so cute. I feel bad for really sucking them. All right, let's see if our second judge can exercise a little more moderation. Uh oh. Someone's been oh, over I'm so full from Bush. Yeah. Looks like they're getting ready to flip out. But our final dish is no laughing matter. Mess up these jam tarts, and you'll find yourself in a sticky situation. Oh, now I just want a jam tart. It's like 11 o'clock at night, though. That's no time to eat a jam tart. Oh, please tell me this batch has the ingredient we need. Oh, no. He's got the wrong ingredient again. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Take it. No, I fell. Thank you. <laughs> seeds or no seeds, it doesn't matter. Just set your watermelon. Oh, if you can. Mm. I fell again. I keep thinking that's like a little bit of terrain I can like roll onto. No, that's that's fully like the, the floor. That's the floor you fall onto when the food is bad. Candidates. Well, fresh is a strong word, but they look warm. That's just what the doctor ordered. Don't you gunk me. Don't you gunk me. You're gunking me. Your vomit is not one of the ingredients I need. Slap it that way, I can pick it up. Whoa, okay, that's the mixer. Mm, no thanks. This young boy reminds me of mm. Oh, I wanted to hear what that dialogue was gonna be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the music in here is really good. What do you think, audience? More ingredients. We got what have we got? Why are you playing with that? I don't want that! The we don't need one of those right now. Why is he picking up the wrong ingredient, I wonder? What? None of those were a strawberry. Unless I just completely missed one of them that Here was actually a strawberry. <laughs> oh, that can happen? Okay. Good to know. Oh, it, disgusting. it hasn't happened to I me yet, so I didn't think it could. Put that down, you spoil the dish. Well, it's about there we time go. You what? One what? Listening to me? Huh? Oh, was there a time limit? Dang. Hmm. Wait, did I toss the bread in? Oh, the bread bounced in. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't even realize! I'm gonna have to chuck the bed like way far away. Just need to think. 
quickly. <laughs> I like the sounds, they're funny. And find me I don't want this. Ingredient. No offense. No. I hate this. No. That's better. The berry! That's the last ingredient, my boy. I, I don't want to taste it, but I feel like this one will be my best one yet. It didn't be in a minute. Let's take you out of space. Uh, burn you. Dodge. Grapple in. Smack you up. Grapple in. Stop away from that. Not far enough. Gavel. Throw. Run away. Grapple in. Burn you. Okay, now I probably do want that, that attack upgrade now that I'm, like, getting into the swing of not getting hit. Well, who are these jammy fellows? Serve them quickly, young man. You never know what these tarts might do. That's worrying. My dad pumped is tearing it up in the kitchen over here. We did it! Run for the hills, folks! <laughs> oh. oh. Well, I don't know about you, but I've certainly had my fill of excitement today. All right, everybody, let's clean up this mess. <laughs> Come on, get a move on. Clean kitchen, clean mind. Hell yeah. Uh, you see, this is why I usually get takeout. <laughs> oh, the wink to the camera. <laughs> that was a really cool level. I do have to go back to get that one tag, <laughs> but... <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is so Cassie. But what do you mean they won't let her out? What librarian? Hmm. Here, my boy. You've earned this. Oh, thank you. I need to go find Cassie right away. Lost? We'll never get lost. I know that forest like the back of my hand. Wait, don't you want help? Hmm. Guess he doesn't. Hell yeah, good for Compton. And hey, we ranked up. Let's look at our powers. How about we upgrade our melee? Now when you finish your melee combo, you can sneak in an extra attack. That's the good stuff you like to see. Uh, add a radial shockwave to your ground pound that damages and pushes enemies back. That also sounds fun. Hmm. 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 With this senior league pass, I can get to Agent Fuller in the bowling alley and try to reconnect that aspect of his mind. The bowling. The bowling aspect. Hi. Since Agent Bull left, why do you stick around? Oh, you never know when someone is going to rush out here needing some emergency psycho isolation. Agent Forsyth comes up here a lot for her migraines. <laughs> That's a cute detail. Uh, let's go to Sasha's lab. Like he goes to Christmas future. Punch, punch, punch. Yeah, Riz! Punch! Whoa! Punch, punch, punch! It's still deeply funny that that was, like, the first achievement I got in that game. <laughs> Let's get tumbling. Wait a second. Oh, wait. How do I look to, uh, you? Like a little Sasha. No good. How do I look? Oh, I almost hate to see you. I just need to you. focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. Like a tooth. <laughs> hey, did the brain tumbler ever get deloused? Yes, I finally did it myself. The infestation was my fault, anyway. 
What? Should have kept a closer eye on that school tour group. Oh no. Yes. I'm ready to go to the Oh no. Unconscious. That's just very quick. Uh, nab our way into Poppins. So, grab that last tag. Looks like the budget of this show has been cut drastically. You might say. Here's the steamer trunk tag. Oh, the, the dialogue got chopped. <laughs> I love my friend teleport options. Uh. Now where was the luggage? Now where, now where was... Where was the luggage? Where was, where was the baggage? That's the thing. That's the thing I gotta remember. Uh. It was the long green one. So I saw it. Thank you, Blue Maelstroms, for the 16 months. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, Laura. Oh god. Oh god, I don't remember. I literally took a picture of it! Yeah! Was it by the blender? Okay, let's go check out a blender. I found you! Uh, looks like Compton's mind is sorted. The emotions! Hey, Trog! Thank you for the raid! Hope you had yourself a wonderful stream today. We just got, I think, all the collectibles? All the collectibles. Uh, in Compton's cook-off. Hey, hell yeah. Can I pet you? No, it does not let me can't teleport you for a bubble? We go to the stations or the collective unconscious. I will never eat one of you again. Although I have to say you do feel delicious. Now don't bite. How's the berry crop this season? Goats are farmers, I guess. Alright. My good friend teleport hey, option, send me back. I need to get somewhere quick. Raspberry eating goats? I mean, goats are an animal that people raise for meat. Do it on this brain too. Yes. <laughs> God, I love doing this. Outer Wilds type jump. So excited for the Outer Wilds DLC. That's at like basically right after my birthday too, so it's like a little birthday treat for me. More power. Now we can go oh, talk to nothing. Sounds like it's quitting time. Cool. In the alley. <laughs> Free money? Free money. Thank you. I like that each of those pickups gives you like 15 or so. Hey kid, you didn't take the toilet plunger, did ya? Hey kid, what's up, chief? The toilet plunger? That's worrying. 
wonder if Mia's got anything new to say, actually. I also didn't talk to Sasha. Let's go give him a chat, actually. It's been a little bit. Mia? Yes, darling? Find out anything new, Agent Bodello? No, darling, and I hate it. How about you? I have some leads, but nothing to report yet. Oh, that sounds exciting, darling. Well, I'll stop bothering you now. Never a bother, darling. Ciao. Nice. That's about you, bud. Yeah. Hi, Sasha. Rasputin? Any new leads? I'm getting nowhere with this... this... Unlikely friend? Oh. <sighs> I'll let you get back to the interrogation. Sorry I can't help. You've done a lot, Rasputin. Thank you. They're friends now, I decided. Ah, oh, what if... <clears throat> right, there's that one! There's this one! Try and get it. Ooh. Sensing some stray thoughts? Oh, that's probably how you get it, actually, is with the Stray Thoughts Detector. Okay, let's see if there are any Stray Thoughts around. Definitely more this way. Aha! There are some Stray Thoughts. Some gay thoughts nearby? Of course there are! I'm here playing this game, aren't I? Hi. Hello. Here, thoughts, 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 thoughts. Any more? Yes. What's up, little guy? This is promising. Is it found some thoughts? There we go. Thanks, thoughts, Hooper. Nice. Hey, Harold. Seen Fort Queller around here lately? Oh, hey, Harold. You're up here. Should buy upgrade, challenge should we? markers with a psychor from these some brand new items here. Let's 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 see. How many cards have we got? Eleven, so we can buy one more. Let's combine that psychor with your card so you can rank up. Now let's get a fluff pockets upgrade. Like having squirrel cheeks. Ha! <laughs> Cute. Good thing you bought that now. I was just about to raise the price. And then uh 750 for these cards. Interesting. Wasn't there a wallet upgrade here at some point? Like, like another one other than this one? Maybe I'm misremembering. No, that's possible. Uh, let's buy some more of these. Might as well fill up on them, just in case. Any pins for us? Anchor your enemies in place. Oh, hmm. That might be good. I do like using the grapple on him. Uh, glass cannon sounds fun, but I play way too risky for that to... <laughs> Although... I feel like I have enough health now where, like, the damage I've... Although it doesn't say how much more damage, so it might be double, it might be more, it might be, like, one hit... But I'm, I'm thinking very long and hard about it. <laughs> it also does cost money. I could also just, you know, try and save up for the VIP discount and the... 
the 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 simultaneum. Hmm. Also, pins are fun, and I kind of want to have fun, so it's not that hard to get money. I'm gonna get uh, uh, this one. Let's equip it. I'll admit, there we go. the main appeal of that one is looks. Uh, are you sure? I think grappling is fucking awesome. That's the appeal to me. And there's another level. Please use your purchases responsibly. I won't. Uh, we can upgrade Side West. Did you see a brain on the floor? We've here? got Psy Cores, Psy Pops, and Just. the ever popular Dream Fluffs. Excuse me. At the but how Vatic. would you feel about me putting you in the body of Nick for the nail? <gasps> Sorry, it's just really important. So are manners, but you don't seem to care about that. Talk to Otto Mentalis if you need a donor brain. He's got hundreds of them in his brain frame. The brain <laughs> frame. Okay, sorry. Thanks. Uh, oh, he's left to go back there. No. Hello, Ford. Open up! Look a little young for the senior league, hmm? I keep all my gray hidden under the helmet. <laughs> hmm. Ah, good tip. <laughs> Watch it. This disinfecting spray is lethal. Good to know. There are people in here. Hey, are you sure you're old enough to be an intern? I'm here on seniors night, aren't I? Hey, are you sure you're old enough to be an intern? Also, hi, Oleander. Uh, how is your... Uh, blueprints for a giant death robot going? Hey, coach. Aren't you supposed to stay away from, you know, death machine plans? This is no death machine, soldier. This is a machine of peace to protect the people you love from Maligula. The High Ordnance weapons are for peace. This is a peace rocket launcher. What do you call your peace machine? The Psycho Mech Battle Bot. Are you still going to make that thing? Those penny pinchers cut it from the budget. Well, maybe that's a good thing? Yeah. Now I can make it without any official oversight. Maybe that's a bad thing. <laughs> How are you going to make it without money? Son, the less you know about it, the better. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> He's trying very hard, he is, but even without, like, the influence of the giant Titanium rocket camp making him go a little take over the world, he, he, he's just like this. Oleander is just like this. Hey, don't you have an intern to take care of? He's on an important mission. I sent her out to get some nunya. What's nunya? Nunya business? Nunya business. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Sam. And listen, I think she has some issues with animals. What? She's a bull. Bulls love animals. Um. Right, but how do the animals feel? I wouldn't eat those pancakes she's making. Eat them? Now, we're using them as heat shield tiles for the psychomech, so it doesn't burn up on re-entry. Oh my god! <laughs> Do you promise this isn't a plan to take over the world? Rasputin, that was the old me. Yeah, like three days old. Anyway, with the money Forsyth's giving me, I couldn't take over this bar. What do you think the mole is? Oh, Sasha. 100%. <laughs> what? I mean, that accent, right? It's weird. Where does it even come from? Coach, I don't think... Trust no one, Rasputin. No one. I think the accent comes from Germany. Are you nervous about Maligula? Let me put it this way. If that mass murderer did come back, who do you think she'd blame for what happened to her? 
Where would she come for revenge? Right here. <laughs> I don't mean this bar, Raz. I mean the mother load. Well, I'll leave you to your plans. Plans that will save your life, soldier. Oleander rules. Hey, can I get a drink? What, are you kidding? Are kids allowed in this bar? It's not a bar, it's a lounge. And we serve food, so it's okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's legal, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you, more so, Oleander, for the tip. Can I get some food? No. Hey, you must hear a lot of gossip. What do you know about this whole mole thing? There ain't no mole in the Psychonauts. All our agents pass rigorous and regular brain scans. It's you, you're the mole. Hmm, good point. The only mole in this joint is on my left butt. It's you, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's gotta be you. What do you know about Maligula? Lies and fairy tales, kid. Just a boogeyman psychics tell their kids about. It. It's I nameless bartender. I make up a story like Maligula. I think somebody with a lot of, ahem, <clears throat> foresight? Needs some scary stories to help her get more government funding. Wow. All of the money, kid. I gotta tell you, it's getting pretty weird out there. Welcome to Adelphi. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, it's getting pretty weird out there. Welcome to Adelphi, kid. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that rules. They never understood us. Just a messy kid. We would have been unstoppable. Little saluting boy. I. Oh, goodies for me. Goodies for Rasputin. Open up. Open wide. Yeah. I imagine you're just supposed to telekinesis the ball, but... Son of a bitch, they knew what I was trying. It's like, it's like they have mind readers here or something. I'm looking at the camera very, very slowly turning towards the camera and I'm smiling really wide. Yeah, well, might as well take some practice shots before the rest of the senior league gets here. Bucket. Bucket. Yeah, Astro Lame, like Astro Plane, it's cute. You know, there's no pins out of cute little baby split there. The baby split. Got it. Oh, we're only missing like two cards in this area. Plants. I missed. Oh, sorry, wrong button. Nice, rank 40. Shouldn't you be wearing a mask? Nah, I've got it in my blood. You, you've got the chemical in your blood? That's... Hmm. <laughs> Does anyone else like to smell the bowling air from the bowling vents? Can't say I do, no. Watch it. This disinfectant spray is lethal. Great. Shouldn't you be wearing a mask? Nah, I've got it in my blood. Great. Ah, oh, veering too far to the Maybe side. Maybe I should inflate the gutter bumpers. We try again. Some people call that the Greek church. I just call it leaving too many pins standing. That, that's not a... That's... That, that's not a... That's not a ball. I'm sure Nona won't miss this old Guloki deck. We never seem to play anymore. That's... Huh? That's... That's... Who put that in there? Double wood right. Let's clean that up. Damn close. That's not supposed to be in there. Wait, that was our grandma's deck. Double wood right. Let's clean that up. 
Psychics have invaded Dave and Buster's. Why did our grandma put her her deck in there? That's not the way to score big, kid. Has she been bowling on seniors night? Good for her. Oh wow, okay. That's what I wanted to do. I do like her, like the idea of the grandma being, well, you know how I feel about psychics, but you know how I feel about bowling. <laughs> <laughs> now that I have bouncy power, I remember there was something else I could get here. Uh, so I'm going to go to the nerve center. Scanning access granted. Also, we can say hi to Hollis. Straight thoughts, I'm thinking. Oh? People might think this spot too long is dorky, but I think it's cool. I think it's over this way. Thoughts! Straight thoughts! There we are. Stupid beloved grandchild, I'm fucking bowling! Okay, um, is there anything else up here? I hit the wrong button. Psychics. Oh, poor you fucking idiot. I'm fucking bowling. <laughs> I don't remember her voice or accent, so I just kind of bungled that. Agent Forsyth? Sorry about my family. No need to apologize. All families are terrible. Oh, no. Oh, uh, actually, mine is great, really. Oh, mine too. I was just trying to relate to you in a human way. Sorry to bother you. I know you're busy. Oh, poor I Hollis. always have time for my interns, Aquato. Now get out of my sight. <laughs> Scanning access granted. By the way, I'm really normal, and I'm a human. I have ten fingers, and I feel all of them every day. She's trying, and that's what matters. Let's see. Were there any other cards in this room? Yep. We've got this, like, view of the whole area from here. That's fun. I suppose I can always just run around here in my own time to try and get collectibles, but also I'm having fun just doing this on streams. <laughs> also, I think I forgot to bring it up uh, last stream, but... Uh... I do really like that uh, a big thing of Lily's seems to be like uh, like psychic stuff and like therapy related to plants. I think that's like a neat character thing that she has, and like it it, it makes sense given like some of the stuff she was doing just like idly in uh, Psychonauts One. It's cool. It's it's a neat way to sort of expand on that. Oh, I'm just a little boy, sir. Scanning access. Granted. Who do I think is the mole? You, it's you, it's you, it's you. Why would anyone ask about that? It's you, it's you, it's you, it's gotta be you, it's you. Mods, 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 we found the mole. Mods, mods. I 
<laughs> and like if you just press the button a little bit, you're like, doot, 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 whoop, whoop, zip, whoop. <laughs> Yeah, and also there was that thing about her Uncle Bob uh, also, like, being at the forefront of plant-related stuff. It's 11.30 at night. I'm getting very tired. Um, maybe we ought to just end it now? And then, like, next time we can do bowling? Because I think bowling's gonna lead us to, like, an entire, like, level, right? Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, unless it's like something really quick. If it's something really quick, I can just do it now, but I feel like it's gonna be like a like a like a whole god darn level. Yeah, it's a level. Okay. We can give it a go next time then. We also did a lot of collectathoning today, so we've got like a lot of goodies now. Like let's look at the maps. We've got 25 out of 27 uh cards. We've got five out of six keys, uh, six out of eight of the challenge markers, 11 out of 18 cards here, three out of four keys, four out of five challenge markers, uh, 22 out of 27 cards, three out of four keys and supply chests, six out of seven side challenge markers, and like, I only gained access to these two areas today. Uh, I literally only gained access to them today. <laughs> And also, uh, I don't have, um, like, a lot of the, 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 I don't have all the powers you can get in this game, so, like, there's definitely some stuff that I can't get until I get all those powers, so it's like, I can go back and collect those some other time. By which I mean probably next time after I get more powers. <laughs> Treat yourself to a psychic excess attack today. I do have more One money. Of my regulars. We appreciate your business. Should buy some stuff. It's not hard to get money in this game. I might as well just get these. I'm not saying your face has flaws, but if it does, this will fix it. Nice. We got an achievement for that. I think it's for getting all the filters. Yeah, I did see the wallet was back. Hmm. Left ball at the ground, you press X in the air. Making mental connections is a chance to tax the mind, causing it to emit Citanium. Hmm. Tell me if that works. I mean, uh, tell me how you like it. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's buy these. Careful let's how you them. Use that one, Sonny. The world's most dangerous blue ball. Excellent choice. Else we can uh, maybe we should just start saving up for the VIP discount then. I just realized I've, like, been barely using Side Blast during this entire playthrough. That's, uh... Huh. I really do just like punching, don't I? <laughs> if you need a big win, come down and get a performance-enhancing pin. I suppose that's gonna be it for today, though. There's nothing here for how to do uh, the barber, but yeah, we'll figure that out, I suppose. Ow, oh, my feet. Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going right now. Psychonauts. 
too. Uh, apologies for this, but uh, it's getting a little late. I am kind of tired. Uh, I think I might uh, skip out on the fan art showcase tonight. Uh, and instead, we'll just do it uh, at the start of tomorrow's stream, because I am streaming tomorrow. Uh, around, like... Actually, let me see how much has been posted. Uh, uh, maybe there's... Maybe this, Maybe it's fine. Maybe there's not too, too much. Maybe there's not too, too much. Maybe I can do it. Maybe I can do it tonight. Maybe I can do it tonight. Is Steam trying to download something? Steam, are you trying to download something while I'm streaming? You, you, you cut that out. You cut that out. I'm trying. I'm trying to stream. Stop downloading an update. Oh, it's updating Psychonauts too. <laughs> it's updating Psychonauts. <laughs> Great. Okay. Um, let's do a fan art showcase. Let's do, let's do a fan art showcase. Uh, let me get some music up on the uh, new and improved uh, autumn music playlist for September. Oh, it's got scary music up now. I don't want scary music right now. Sure. <laughs> get the Discord view up. Let's get rolling. Starting off with this one from Borden. Very cute little sketch. Very cute. I like the little sketchy BB on this. I also really like the face he drew. It's a cute face. Thank you very much. I like this a lot. From Churchy AI, he says Dragon Holly because dragons are cool and so is she. Cute. <laughs> also cute. In a way. <laughs> Thank you. This one here, Video Spectre, who says this popped into my brain and I had to create it. <laughs> Fun. Thank you very much. Barney Calhoun, S, who says, finish. <laughs> Popping out of the ear like that. Very cool. The perspective on this is real good. Also, I like the way you did the, the, the fun glowing ball. This is cool as hell. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. This one here from Razzy Boy, who says, First time drawing BB. Very good. Very good shapes on this bird. It's a good bird to see. Thank you very much. This is cute. Another one here from Borden. I know him. I know this guy. You know him. You love him. That's right. It's Ford Kreller. Very nice. Thank you very much. This one here from Dr. Grimm. It's BB and Rasputin. Hell yeah. <laughs> I think BB would be the one bird that wouldn't fly away from Raz because I think BB is too dumb to know to fly away. <laughs> very good shape of bird in this one. Thank you very much. Uh, this one here from Video Spectre 7. Cute. Uh, in the future, uh, just not specifically for you, for everyone, uh, please try to keep like edits and stuff like this to the, the edits channel. Just, just, just be mindful of that, I suppose. Thank you very much. This one here uh, from Butler Kitty. <laughs> the horrible, awful face, and just... By the way, you can have one if it falls on the floor. Wowee! Thanks! <laughs> God. The little face here. <laughs> this rules. Thank you. <laughs> this one here from Clownery. <laughs> <laughs> it 
<laughs> this animal. Oh. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, in all of the size and shape of this thing. Thank you. From Cowboy Cryptid, he says, I think it's real sweet that Raz looks up to Sasha. Cute. Also a Sam. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. These are wonderful. Got this one here from Chip Burger. <laughs> She's really good with animals. She loves them! <laughs> Thank you. This one here from Mix Grimm. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's so beautiful shape. <laughs> yeah, this did kind of just end up being the stream about the bulls, didn't it? By sheer coincidence. That's fun. Thank you for this one. <laughs> This one here, uh, from Penis Butter. <laughs> Jaundice Child fucking destroys animal. <laughs> I did just kind of wail on him for a while, didn't I? <sighs> Thank you very much. This one here, from Razzy Boy. Screenshot redraw from the casino mission that took 16 hours. Hey, hell yeah! Very cool. Thank you very much. From Mix Grim. Salmon pancakes. Very cool. I like the way you included all the animals in it. Also, I like the noodly arms. It's a cute touch, too. Thank you very much. And thank you, Lola Mortem, for the 12 month resub. Miss the stream, but I'm glad to see the Thanat smile. Hell yeah! Thanks for stopping on by, and thank you for the reset. I appreciate it. This one here from Elf Turtle, who says we love a bull. We do. I think that applies to all the bulls. Oh! Oh, enjoying a bird together. This is extremely animal. Oh! <laughs> My goodness, that's animal. This is adorable. Thank you very much. This is so cute. Uh, this one's from Dell. Technically Psychonauts related, so I'm sharing. I'm making double fine buttons. I'll be selling the double fine digital convention later this month. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna ask, just just in general, not specifically because of you, uh, if you're just like doing a Psychonauts drawing and it's not really related to the streams, uh, Maybe post that in like a different channel, like the like the creative channel instead, uh, just to try and keep this, you know, for stuff that is uh, like actually directly related to the streams and not just stuff that is psychonauts, you know. Thanks for understanding. Here's one from Church AI, and it's another little Raz. Oh yeah, thank you very much. This one here from Ahoy there. It says doodle with a pair of friends from the first game yesterday. God, I do miss the feces agent. <laughs> I do miss the feces agent. That's a hell of a sentence. Thank you very much. This one here from Mix Grimm. It's the perfect being. It's the ultimate life form. The bee. God, they had such an incredible shape, didn't they? Thank you very much. Boo. Here's a little Raz from Mason. Cute, thank you. This one here from Razzy Boy, who says, Intern Holly on the job, running around. Watch out for her hitting you in the head. I mean, I suppose I did accidentally bonk a couple of people, didn't I? <laughs> so... Perhaps the warning is apt. <laughs> Oh, this is really cute, though. 
The little Lola in the ball. Oh. <laughs> I like this a whole lot. This is wonderful. Thank you. Be on the lookout for this crazy son, so. Ball. This one here from the Appreciation Club. Had this idea from the last stream, but wasn't up to drawing it then. I like that the little guy is back, but I also keep interpreting their name in this game as choose a destination instead of teleport options. I like that a lot, actually. <laughs> oh, that's really good. <laughs> so here's two. Cute. Cute. My good friend teleport options and their sibling. Choose a destination. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. This is adorable. Another one from Razzy Boy, and it's another little teleport options. Cute. Thank you very much. Got another one here from Mix Grim. It's Harry Kasparov. He's an adult. He can enjoy a drink. The man's in his 30s. It's fine. Look at his little jacket. He definitely belongs here at the bar. Very cute, thank you. <laughs> this one here from Elk Turtle. I drew this <laughs> when all Psychonauts Street Week. <laughs> mm, yes! <laughs> yes! That's Ford Cruller when they have uh, the, the, the honey boar pepper bacon uh, on special that week. <laughs> thank you very much. Another little guy. Cute. Thank you, thank you. We got a Raz here from Phantom Trash. Nice. Sporting his Psychonauts 2 colors and outfit. Thank you very much. Another one from Churchy AI. And look, it's a different variation of our good friend Choose a Destination. Cute. I like this idea. Thanks for sharing. This one here from Six Kuros. He said, Just finished the last VOD of Psychonauts 1. One of my new favorite games. Hell yeah! Game is extremely good. Uh, I'm glad uh, that I got to experience it for the first time. Uh, and that other people got to, you know, share in that experience with us. Oh, this is real cute. Hell yeah. And the little Dogen at the top! Oh! Also, these are some very good Sashas. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. These are wonderful. This one, uh, from Name of Soft Drink, who I forgot I renamed. <laughs> Fuck. I did that just straight on stream, didn't I? <laughs> Something I started during the first stream in a fit of sudden inspiration. Didn't finish until yesterday, though. Holy shit! Holy fuck, this is incredible! My god. The, like, the effects of, like, the, the, the background from Hollis's level, and, like, the lighting and the shine you got on all these different things, and, like, the little, the, like, after images on Raz? My god. My god, this is real good. Hell yeah! Thank you very much! This rules! This is fucking great! Some more fun little guys from Churchy AI. Fun little patterns on them. Hell yeah! Thank you very much! This one here from Glitchy Guts. <laughs> After all the comments about... <laughs> Raz thinking to himself about what he was doing. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> this is real good. I like the little the little brain sticker on his shitty laptop. This rules. This one here from Big Challenges. Raz goes to therapy. Not sure about this guy the Psychonauts contracted out though. Oh, I get it. It's like, uh, it's, it's, it's like Dr. Hallway, uh, from, from, from Among Us, uh, Until Dawn. That's what it's called. God's sake. <laughs> I had to, like, 
I had to fully stop my brain and like derail it just to be like, that's not what it's called. Hang on a second. Uh, please look forward to the real-time fandom of Among Us. I think I've cursed us all. I'm very sorry to my castmates. <laughs> Thank you, big challenges, Dan. This rules. <laughs> We got these here from Fandom Trash, who says random doodles done during the stream. I love this funky little psychonaut boy. Well, you're not trash at all, so you're getting renamed. <laughs> I live here in your head, Rasputin. I see everything. <laughs> Me forgetting about the fall damage. Constantly. Can I call you Hootie? Oh, here's a cute little drawing and the little bees. Oh, the bees! Thank you for including the bees. These are all adorable. Also, I just, you, I just realized you captured the moment that I chucked my fucking bread clean off the stage. <laughs> God, thank you very much. <laughs> Here's one from Soul, who says, Doodles! Did you know that Coach Oleander is the best character in the game? Double Fine came to my house and told me themselves it's true, you're not lying? Well, hey, I guess I, I, guess I, can't, de I, guess I can't deny that. <laughs> Oblivious, bearer of the curse. <laughs> God, the statement about, you know, I've played a platformer every now and then. Maybe rings a little hollow after the, the fucking bread time incident. <laughs> Who the hell is Gordon? Oh, the nice little Compton. Also, this is a really good, really good Oleander. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. These are wonderful. <laughs> Here's one from Sign. <laughs> Shush, Pookie, I'm fucking bawling. <laughs> I think she's a bit confused about the rules of basketball, but she's got the spirit, I'll give her that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sign. Another one here from Glitchy Guts, who says, Finish the holly from last stream with Phoebe and Lola Pigments. Oh! Thank you. Oh. Oh. Oh, the beast. Oh. Oh, animal. Oh. Well, well, maybe just a slap. Oh, maybe just one slap. And then that'll be it. Oh. Oh. Thank you, I love this. Ah, looks like that'll be it for pictures on the Discord. I will give a quick look over at um, Twitter. That's what the website's called. Now that I've gotten one thing wrong and said that it was Among Us by accident, I'm trying very hard to not misname other things. <laughs> Got a couple. Uh, I think uh, we got a couple. Let me just go through, make sure. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's give them. I have the hiccups. Fuck. It's a good thing I'm ending stream soon. <laughs> Let me get this uh, Twitter view up. Starting off with this one from Mokuri Moto. He says, was watching back some VODs and missed of Holly playing Psychonauts. And she mentioned something about not being an Eldritch deity. And I immediately thought, okay, but what if you were, though? <laughs> 
this is a fun idea. <laughs> Thank you very much. I am human. I promise. I'm just a person. Got this one here from Arrow Ace P. He says, because it was funny, Holly sent some toast into orbit and that's how TK is supposed to work, I promise. Listen, I mean, it's how TK is supposed to work. It's... It's not how you're supposed to use it in that specific instance of the level, but, you know, <laughs> details. <laughs> details. Thank you very much. This one here uh, from Bandit OS. He says, I don't usually post art to Twitter because of compression, but Holly Psychonauts 2 streams have been really cool and I wanted to share. I drew Psychonauts, Holly, and BB in my attempt at fusing the game's style with mine. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I love the, like, the big turtleneck sweater. That's really cute. That's a really cute look. Oh, I like that a lot. And the boots! Oh, this is really good. And the little... Oh! The little sleepy BB in the bag! Oh, that's so cute! Oh my gosh! This is incredible! Also, here's, like, a digital edit with all these cool colors on it. Holy shit! This is so good! This is so good! Oh my god, thank you! I adore this! Another one here, uh, from Arrow Ace P, who says, Funny bit of Psychonauts 2 dialogue I only caught in the previous holiday stream between Adam, Lizzie, and Raz. I needed to draw it because it sent me into a coughing fit. I laughed so hard. <laughs> it's the bit about the tumble in the nets. <laughs> he is ten and doesn't understand. <laughs> Thank you very much. I believe uh, that is gonna be it. Uh, hang on, hang on, uh, hang on. We've got two more in the Discord. If you'll give me just a sec. This. This. <laughs> gesturing at it. <laughs> Thank you for immortalizing my mistake. <laughs> Enjoy your time in hell and thank you for the drawing. And we got this one here from Pseudonym Jones. Oh, and it's my good friend Choose a Destination. Very cute. Very cute. Thank you very much. Okay, and that is gonna have to do it for the fan art showcase. Apologies if anyone else is posting other things. It's past midnight. My throat is a little hoarse. I have a headache, I've just realized. I- holy shit, I've been streaming for like almost six hours and I didn't take a break. Uh. <laughs> fuck. Hmm. Maybe tomorrow I'm gonna have to get better about like, you know, getting up to have a stretch every hour or so. While I stream, because uh... Oh boy, I'm starting to feel the effects. I don't know if anyone else is live right now. I can check real quick. Um... I do like this song. This is a fun song. Chase is live. We haven't raided Chase in a while. Uh, let's do that. Looks like Chase is playing uh, Mario Maker. Sounds like a fun time. Tomorrow should chat remind you two or three hours in to take a break. Nah, don't worry about it. I can I can remind myself. I just keep forgetting uh, the past couple of times. But now that it's like in my brain, it's like, oh yeah, I should do that, shouldn't I? I appreciate the thought though, but don't worry about it. Uh, let's... Raid Chase. Um... What's a good raid phrase? What's a good raid phrase I can think of? Hmm. Hmm. I can't think of nothing. If any of y'all can. Oh, oh, I know. Uh, let's do, uh... Here's, here's, here's our raid phrase, uh... <laughs> I 
That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> That's gonna do it for our stream tonight, though. Thank you all very much for the support tonight. Thank you for all the subs, all the tips, all the bits. Uh, your generosity uh, really warms my heart. Uh, thanks uh, for, you know, helping me uh, be able to keep doing stuff like this while also being able to live as, as one does. Uh, and I hope I can keep on making cool and fun little uh, projects and streams and spaces uh, that make your support feel like it's worth all the while. Uh, thank you as well for all the hosts and raids we had today. Thank you for all the new follows we had. Thank you uh, to anyone who shared the stream around or shared any clips around or anything like that. Thank you for all the beautiful fan art again. And thank you all very much for tuning in. You know, if, if you were only here for a bit, or you stuck around for the whole stream, if you only hopped in at the start, or only made it now, if you were lurking, or if you were having a fun time in the chat, it's always a delight to have you here. Thanks for taking time out of your busy day to spend it here with us. Let's get that raid rolling. If you're sticking around for the raid, I hope you have a good time at Chase's stream. Be good. Be good to each other. That sort of stuff. Uh, I'll be live again tomorrow. Six o'clock. More Psychonauts. I'm looking forward to it. Hope you all are too. Until then, before we head off, I'd just like to say, have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you're taking care of yourself and taking care of the folks around you. And I hope to see you again soon. <laughs>